Hey, hello, and welcome to my 5,000 subscriber special video. Um, really excited to be making this. Um, I've actually been working on it already for quite some time. I, I recorded an intro on the first day that I started uh, recording videos, uh, like re recording games, and um, I figured I'd just make a new one at this point. So this video is super long. Yeah, I know it's crazy. I've I've edited most of it at this point, and um, it's a lot longer than I was expecting it to be. I was hoping it to be a, like an hour tops, and it was like three hours. So that's a thing. Um, I'm not expecting this video to get many views or anything, um, but I really wanted to make it for you know the people who were interested in getting feedback for their games. So that's what this is, by the way. If you didn't know, um, I played a bunch of games that were submitted by subscribers. And I just gave them feedback, so that's that's what you'll be seeing here in in a few minutes. So, so that's the that's the whole purpose of this video. This video is meant to give feedback in like the nicest way possible and in the most helpful way possible. Because I am a game developer, I know what it takes to make games, you know. So I feel like hopefully it'll be more meaningful to you guys than just getting feedback from some random troll on steam or something because that happens you know it's it's either you know you get feedback from people that that actually care or feedback from people that are angry so so i'm hoping i'm hoping i'm hoping that that this will be a really helpful video for people who you know submitted their games and even if you didn't submit your games maybe there's i mean there's actually probably a lot that you can learn from this so um if you make it through the whole three hours you're insane, uh, but also thank you, and uh, that's about it. So let's hop right into the video. Let's uh, let's get in here. All right, the first game I'm going to be playing here is called A Fake Game. Okay, well that happened. <laughs> All right, so so the first game I'm going to be playing is called A Fake Game. Hmm, so let's say that you woke up in the middle of nowhere, can't remember anything, you feel tired, and wait. I think I've seen that like a million times. You have to rescue someone. Nah, pretty boring. You have to rescue someone surrounded by zombies. And it's on fire. This is not working. Let's just say that you start. Okay? All right, let's start. Got a nice cinematic cutscene here. Very nice animations. Okay, click to move. Pro tip, stand next to a cube and select it with right click. Interact with all weird stuff hit E. Okay, we can hit E to, to skip. Okay, so we go over here, and we interact with this directly. Okay, so now we we now have a a cube. I'm assuming this this looks like a puzzle to me. Uh -huh, I'm so smart. Gameplay. Boop. Oh, it looks like we need three for this one. So maybe we can come over here and grab this back, put it over there. No, we'll probably need to find a yellow one someplace. Oh, my word. <laughs> Who might you be? This character looks awesome. I like I like that it's a unique character. Like this is this stands out and it that's good. That's a good thing is to have uh, unique characters in your games. Finally, we meet again. I was so bored. Who are you? Where am I? What the heck is happening? Uh yeah, I'm scared by. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I pressed that and it has restarted. I just realized it sounds like there's a freaking rave going on. Okay, we'll just go over here. And boot that right there. So far, I'm definitely liking the graphics. Excuse oh, my word. <laughs> this man. <laughs> he scares me. Oh. Uh, here's a random cutout. Can I interact with that? Oh, we got... It's just a prank, bro. I'm, I'm really liking the, the surrealism in this. This is really good. This is very unique. So, one thing that I'm noticing is that sometimes... There's stuff I can interact with, even if um, it doesn't say I can. So maybe like a little a little key prompt would be nice. Something simple, just so people know when there's stuff that they can interact with. Oh, okay, yeah. See, like I didn't realize I could interact with this here. All right. I will say I I really like that you've got the decal uh, on the ground. 
so you can see exactly where you're picking up and placing. That's very, very handy. That it's like actually in 3D space. Oh, okay. Here we go. And off we go. Oh, hey, can I talk to you? Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> oh, sorry. Did you want to go through the door? Well, I mean, I was going to, yes. Let me tell you something first. You're stuck here. You have no other choice but to listen to me, okay? This man's threatening. Uh, no, screw you. You seem not to understand. Let's try again. Uh, alright. Good, I knew you'd get it. Anytime. You can count on me. Again, I really like the, the surreal atmosphere in this. I really like the characters. Um, the art, the perspective is nice. Gives the, the art gives me a little bit of a Little Nightmares vibe. Like with the, the, the yellow character here and the camera perspective. Kind of like the, the third person perspective. Oh, we got a sign. Oh. And a bunch of other stuff. If you don't get it, it's because you're not welcome. And don't rush. Oh, we got a whole bunch of uh, heads on poles. Is that what we have here? I think I got it. <laughs> Why? Why are you still here? Because I'm not dead yet. Oh, I am trapped now. Ooh, ooh spookiness. Ooh, oh, oh. Maybe this game is a little bit more sinister than I originally thought. Oh no, it's the man. The big man himself. Uh, you seem persistent. Stop hitting me. Have we been hit by him? Or her? Or it? The... the... this? Okay, I think you're getting it. You got voice acting, alright. <laughs> yes, what the heck you could talk... Of course That's I what can. I, was thinking. I just didn't want to. Okay, this is awesome. And I'm... I didn't mean to, but I think it's necessary now. As you can see, you have to listen to me. You can run away, but I know that it's not what you want. I really like this. Besides, I like you. I feel like you, insignificant. Oh, it's a little passive aggressive. Actually, no, that's very aggressive. Here again? What do you mean? I don't recognize this place. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna chuck rocks at you. Because you're kind of mean. Haha. <laughs> are you. Alright. Why up? are you doing this? I, I'm pretty sure that wasn't me. Stop! I'm in pain! Oh. I'm giving up. I don't know what else to do for getting your attention. The music in this is really good too. Whoever made the music did an awesome job. I don't even have time to look on the little things anymore. No matter how many times I show you something, it will be pointless. You know what? If you want to join me on this journey, I need you to stay alive. Well, I mean, I've been doing that so far. Take care of myself is fine. You don't exist. I won't exist either. It is fucking obvious, right? So why are you destroying your own lungs? Wait, is it though? Oh. <gasps> are we smokers? I'm a smoker, aren't I? I need that tobacco. Want to help. And there we have it. Very, very nice. Claps all around. Great, great job uh, all to all of these people. Honestly, the gameplay is solid. It's simple. But it's enough to keep you interested. Um, it's something that will, you know, help people through the story, I guess. You know, it gives more incentive to continue um, you know, learning about the story and learning about the game. Um, the environments, the world, the, the, the humor factor is fantastic. I really like that. Um, overall, it, it's a really nice 
package. The story, I didn't really catch on until like obviously the very end, which may have been intended, which is fine. Um, so honestly, I mean, there's not really that much that I can treat, critique story-wise. So yeah, no, I mean, for your full launch, um, I can see this doing pretty decently. This is a, a solidly above average game. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of stuff to uh, to, to critique with it more. Because um, I, like, I feel like uh, I've almost been too nice to it. Like, like it's almost like there's nothing wrong with it. At a couple points, the, the movement seemed a little off, which I'm sure you guys are already aware of. And I'm sure, I mean, this is the demo version. I'm sure you guys are working on that already. And we'll probably have that all fixed up for the full version, um, if not already. Um, and just not in the version I have. But uh, overall, this is uh, really fantastic. I really enjoyed it. And I think a lot of other people will too. Next game. All right. So the next one we have is called Apophis. Hey, hey, hey. I'm, I'm gonna move my head out of the way for a second here. This is a fantastic main menu. This looks gorgeous. I don't know how you, uh, you pulled this off, but this main menu looks amazing. All right, <laughs> this is gonna end up being a very long video. All right. Okay, so Mr. Jared, what happened next? Those were the final hours of our duty, my friend. He, he had died that night. Our homes and families flashed before our eyes. Do you understand my best friend died in my arms? I couldn't do anything, anything. Jared, maybe we can focus on what happened when you got back to town. 13, 25, so it's like what, like one in the morning? Ooh, man, you got some sick cutscenes in these games. This, this, you were really useful. This, this cutscene looks awesome. Ideally, this wouldn't be a, a, a wife murdering game. I'm assuming it's not. Okay. What do we got here? Oh, we are a good marriage. All right, so we're out here memory hunting a bit. Oh, hey, I can actually turn this on. Yeah, I got some nice music now. Turn on some freaking Gucci gang here. This guy, I don't like that song at all. That song's terrible. We got a nice house. By the way, like this is some classy stuff. So we went to the oh man, man's got a dog. Everybody, give a give a huge thumbs up for the dog. You you gotta like the video now because there's a doggo. I don't miss paperwork. <laughs> yeah, who who does? Find a letter in kitchen. Okay. All right. So I guess we've maybe gotten all of our memories. By the way. I gotta say the uh, the environment, the the level design in this is pretty good. Um, it's pretty nice. Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, you got like a lot of advanced stuff going on here. Um, very detailed. I think the the only one thing that I could recommend right now, and this is something that I've messed up with so so much, and that I always have to remind myself of. Um, you know, like I noticed some areas like the like the bedroom over here or not bedroom office space You have a lot of empty space, which isn't necessarily a bad thing But if you want to make a game look like ten times more detailed than it actually is basically just like If you're working in an interior space, just make all of your rooms smaller just more compact so that everything is closer together and Then it'll just look more detailed because there will be less empty space. So quick tip um, it's not like that's a, a huge flaw or, or something. Just a little tip that uh, that can help. All right, so I've clicked on this. This is to Jared. I just found this letter. Nothing more. Psychologist says, I assure you that your family is safe. Wait, how did you... What's going on? Family's missing. Oh, that's not it. Oh, there's more. Oh, oh we have just begun. But these cutscenes are really good, I gotta say. I'm, I do really like them. What was that? Alright, we got a new diary. Escape from the basement. Is this our own basement? What is this place? Okay, apparently not. 
equipped in right. Oh, we got a note. Uh, controls note added to inventory. Controls note, here we go, pause menu. Okay, quick, quick suggestion. If you're gonna have a controls note, uh, it'd probably be good to put that in the very beginning of the game, since half of those controls we already knew since uh, we, we had to play through a bunch of the game. So, little tip. I mean, like you could literally, like if you just take that note and you just like put it in the beginning of the game, it, you know, it might help some people. S says start, so I'm assuming that's where we are now. Oh, right, F for flashlight. Oh, no flashlight and equipment. Oh, I guess we need to find one. Hopefully there's one around here, because it is a little dark. Seems I took part in some ritual. Yeah, but why? I do not remember anything. Very strange. Where's my flashlight? Mysterious statue. All right, I still can't find this, the flashlight though. <laughs> so if I go over here, there's a there's some little spot here. I don't know if like it's a door or something that I can interact with, and it just says find flashlight. So I don't know if I just can't go into the darkness without it. I'm assuming that's what that means, which is probably a that's, that's a good that's a good way to design things so that like people don't like think that they have to like find the flashlight in the darkness somewhere. Yeah. So one big thing that I would definitely suggest. And this is something that, once again, I have definitely struggled with uh, trying to figure out how to do best. And uh, that is, you know, figuring out what, how to make sure that people find the items that you place in your game. Because sometimes, you know, people need to find a key, people need to find a, a flashlight, people need to find stuff. And it's usually best to put items like that in. Uh, pretty obvious locations. So like either like in the middle of a room or like, like let's say like there was a, a table in this room here that had, that had the flashlight on it underneath this light, that'd be good, you know, but I, I, I can't, I can't find the flashlight. So if I don't find it fairly soon, I might have to move on to the next game. And um, uh, after, after walking around for a while, I sadly, I, I can't find the flashlight. I. I simply can't find it, but that doesn't mean this is a bad game. Um, uh, you know, I like the graphics. I like the um, the, the cutscenes. Cutscenes are awesome. Overall, it seems polished. You know, um, it's just uh, making sure players can find important items is important. <laughs> so, uh, so there you go. So good work. Um, I enjoyed what I was able to to finish. You know, that, that whole first part was really cool with the memories and those cutscenes. Um, dialogue is pretty good. Also, it was pretty well translated. I'm assuming it was translated because the voiceover was in a different language. But the translation was good. Um, yeah, overall, good work. Um, just make sure that items can be found easily. So, um, yeah. All right, so this is Devoker. So let's uh, let's take a look. Oh, we got a, a neat cutscene. Oh, all right, and now we're in. Oh, is my phone going off? E? I'm assuming I need to interact with this, but I'm hitting a bunch of keys and I don't know. Great music. Oh, maybe it's this. Okay, <laughs> I was I was confused by the the other thing. All right, so what do we got here? Chat, unknown contact. I think they've discovered me. We got the matrix here. Don't reply to my messages. You were right. I investigated the Zero Sound Corporation just like you told me. They're not what we are led to believe. Its methods affect people's minds. Those sounds are brainwashing. People lose control of their bodies. We have to do something before we fall. All fall. All of them. I've modified a weapon and hidden it in one location. You'll have to move fast to have a chance. Go to your music folder. Okay, music. Tutorial, hey, I like that. All right, what do we got here? Oh. Uh, am I in the tutorial now? Okay, E. All right, I guess we can leave now. Hey, we got a boomstick. Okay, I like this. Oh. Okay, I like the stylized stylization of this. Kind of like the pink neon 80s kind of stuff. And it appears that we can 
do kind of a, a, a dash thing. All right, what is this? Space bar on air to double jump. Oh, maybe I should have uh, taken a look at this. Space bar to jump, WASD to move. All right, so I'm assuming I need to like go boom, boom, and then dash. Okay, sweet. And we can uh, reload. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot. So it's like a, it's like you're like blasting people with music and you rewind it. That's really cool. Okay, that is a really cool concept and you should focus your marketing efforts around that. That's a good concept to market around. Don't just tell people like, oh, you get to shoot people. Tell them you're shooting people with music and you get to rewind, you know, like make a point of like showing people that part of that. That's that's really good. All right, so shift to dash. Can I, can I like, boom, hey, there we go. This is this is like that uh, that Cuphead um, let's play where the, the 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 reporter is just constantly trying to get that that one first jump in the tutorial, except it's me. <laughs> oh, I think I've just realized something. Hey, okay, I can, so I can dash upwards, duh. For some reason I was thinking there's, I wouldn't be able to, I could only dash like forwards, but no. All right, so hold space bar into a wall to glide. So like, uh, I don't really get it. What's this say? E, okay, we got a new tape. All right, well in any case, I got through the tutorial. So I'm, I'm set. All right, so now I get to fight some people. Hey, you, get dead, sucker. And also, I, th I think I think you guys can probably hear the music pretty well. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, stupid robot. Let's see. So one thing I've noticed with the with the reload animation here. Um, you'll notice if I shoot a little bit, you can see how it, um, the hand kind of gets, it's in the center of the screen where the crosshair is. Um, traditionally, it's best to keep the center of the screen uncovered when you're doing reloading animations, because that way, uh, oh, I should have waited to, uh, to sprint or to dash. But uh, traditionally, it's best to keep the center of the screen uncovered when doing like reload animations. That way, you can still see your enemies as you're reloading. Oh. Hey, okay, so that's that's the the glide uh, they mentioned. All right, where am I? Okay, that's not where I'm trying to go. Let's go. High octane gamer moment number fifty nine. Mm. Okay, set me back a little bit, not too much. But yeah, I'll say it again. I I love the I like the style choices you guys made with this, or however many people worked on this. I I, I don't know, maybe it's just one. But uh, I like the like music shooter kind of kind of idea. I truly do. No, no, it's dead. Cause I I killed it with my own teeth. Hey, there we go. All right, E. Let's go. Is this final boss time? Am I feeling a boss fight? I'm feeling a boss fight. Hmm. This environment looks extra superb. I'm loving this. Oh, hey there. Can I shoot you? Hmm. What do I do? Do I shoot stuff? Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> Somehow I missed the giant gaping hole that's sitting here. All right, that's that's not your guys' fault at all. That's just <laughs> that's just me. So one thing that I've noticed is that uh, like that when I when I fall out when I of the map when I die, um, I can like kind of like see the outside of the map as I'm falling, um, and it might be a good idea to. If you can, like raise the the kill uh, Z volume, or if you are just using a default like uh, kill Z volume um, to reset it, then maybe what you'd want to do is make like a um, a bunch of trigger boxes, because I I know like different parts of each level are at different heights, so maybe you have it at the minimum height possible for one single value. Um, but what I'd maybe do is make it so that there's like a bunch of different uh, trigger boxes and then you can align them at the appropriate height for each level to reset stuff. Um, that way people aren't like falling all the way out of the map. So that might, might be good. Ooh. Barely made that jump, and I just gotta hope I can make this last part. Ooh. With ease. Oh, we got lasers. Oh, this looks really cool. The visuals of this are very nice. Also, one, one random thing that I just thought of. It's not really like necessary, but it might be cool if you had like a, a real juicy crunch when you, uh, when you die, like <laughs> whenever I get hit by a laser or something, I just thought that might be kind of neat. Hey, I made it. That took me a little too long. Okay, am I feeling a boss fight now? Oh, I don't have a gun. Oh, oh, we got people. Target list. Ooh. I heard sound. Thanks for playing. More content coming soon. Very nice. I I enjoyed that. Claps. Claps for humans. Credits. Might as well check that out. Good job, people. Yeah, I really like the concept of it. Although, <laughs> I just noticed that... Uh, the, this computer is IBM brand. I don't know if you're allowed to put that in a game, but but in any case, uh, pretty good. Um, once again, I really like the, the concept behind it. I like the styling behind it. The art is, uh, is pretty nice. It's quite nice, actually. Um, yeah, pretty good job. Uh, the gameplay is, I'd say it's, it's pretty solid. You know, this is just like a demo. This is an early version, so uh, I know you guys are, are gonna be working on that and improving that more as time goes on. Yeah, for, for a demo, this uh, it gets the kind of the point across and kind of the, the feeling that you're trying to go for. And all around, I'd, I'd say it's pretty good. Um, you know, I mentioned a few things throughout the video, like the, the kill volume and the, the reload animation. So those are a few things that you might uh, wanna fix up a little, but overall, pretty nice. Pretty nice, you know. Definitely, when when it comes to marketing and stuff, really uh, hammer home the uh, the fact that it's uh, like a like an '80s music shooter, because that's that's a, a really cool uh, marketing point. So, best of luck. Keep working on it. It's looking good. Next game. All right. Next up, we've got a little game called Finding Carl's Family. Let's do this. All right. Beginning. All right. So here we go. Here we go. All right, so we got move with A and D. Very nice. Jump with space or W. We Okay. <laughs> I, I messed that up. All right. I just had to experiment a little. Okay, so we can go up there. Be careful not to touch the spikes. All right. Okay, next level, I would assume. All right, we got... Cannons. Oh, whew, whew. I, I got game ended. All right, so I think we, I could just sneak down there. 
Oh, shoot, we got turtles. I like the character design, I gotta say. Reminds me a little of, of uh, some classic uh, Super Super Mario platforming. But that's good. I, I like I like the unique take on this. On on a on a pl gosh dang it. <laughs> on on a platformer. So I like this so far. Now I do wanna say I think it's really cool. I'm assuming it looks like you've created uh, the developer that is has created a like a custom tile set for this. Which I think is really neat. It's always really good to see games making their own art and their own tiles. That's oh my word, these are some slow turtles here. Um, so that's good. Out of my way, turtle boy. Come on, Carl's family, I will find you. Oh. Oh, 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 oof, okay. I thought I was just gonna get game ended there. Looks like maybe there's some secret, oh, darn it. I thought maybe I could get up there still. I wonder if there's, there's probably some secret. Oh, <laughs> I like the, the juicy splat sound when, when you get hit. That's good, it's a really, it's a good sound. Okay, no, nothing secret down there. Oh, <laughs> dang it, okay. All right, I got this, I got this. Why can't I time that? There we go. Whew. Okay. There we go. All right, so a couple things that I'm noticing so far. Um, overall, pretty good. I'm liking it. But... If there was a sprint button, that would add like a whole nother dimension to the gameplay. If you could be like midair and then you could like speed up and slow down a bit, you know, to uh, to better time your jumps. So that's one. Oh, <laughs> I wasn't looking. <laughs> but in any case, that's that's one thing that I'd recommend uh, for a platformer. That or you know something like a like a like a dash mechanic, in, like in uh, I think in Celeste, I think they did that. So that would be good. And also, I don't... Now, I, I don't know a whole lot about platformers, to be honest. Um, and I know there's a lot of other... I, I know uh, Jonas Tyroller uh, is working on a platformer. And he's made some videos about uh, stuff you can do to improve platformers. So, um, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll put that... Link that in a card here. That could be helpful, too. Because he knows... A, Probably knows a bit more about this stuff than I do. Can't be too much more. Oh, <laughs> I I love the, the the juicy hit sound is really good. I gotta say, I I almost can't get enough of it. I almost I like I'm basically just dying on purpose at this point. It's definitely not because I'm terrible as a gamer. I am 100% pro gamer. I just like hearing that sound. All right, speed run. Let's go. I wonder if we get a boss fight or something. Maybe the boss fight is Carl's family. We have to fight his family. I do also really, really like... Uh, I think the length of the levels is actually really good. Um, and I think it's uh, good that they're split up into levels. It's really awesome. Uh, because then, you know, you, you get like a checkpoint system. And, you know, it saves your progress. That's all really, really good stuff. So... Um, really good work on that. Yeah, you know, I think the level design also, not bad, not bad. Once again, I'm, I, I've never really made a platformer game myself, so I can't necessarily say, <laughs> I can't speak on it too much, but, uh, just as someone playing it, got this, I got this, I got this. Boom. Okay. Oh, 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 shoot. Oh, we do have a boss fight. Heck yes. Oh, we gotta run. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Man, it kills you instantly if you're not fast though. Okay, so we just have to go instantly to the right. Yeah, one thing that might be good just in the that intro sequence there 
is if you, maybe if you had like one second to, to start or something, maybe that'd be good. I don't know, just a thought. Ooh, that's, okay, that's gonna be a tough jump for me. But I, I have to like use my insane gamer reaction times to, uh, to be able to do that in time. Also, I really like the music in this part. The music in this part is really, really good. Okay. Game over. What happened? Okay. It, 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 it keeps killing me there. Maybe, maybe I need to jump? Okay, so up here, I'm gonna try jumping. Alright, so we're on the last level here. I like the cutscene. The cutscene's really cool. Oh, I didn't see this part of the cutscene previously. Or is that not supposed to happen? I think it's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's try playing again. Seems as though you can only play the last level if um, you just, if you're going from one level to the next. I'll try one last time. I'll try playing uh, through level nine and then level 10 so that I can uh, try and get back in there. But that might be a bug you wanna, wanna try and address. All right, so let's see if the the boss fight works now. Now that we've gone through level nine, and now we're here. It doesn't appear that it wants to work. So maybe maybe I already beat it? I, I'm not entirely sure what's happened. Um, if you're the dev, feel free to leave a comment. But um, I, think, I think that wraps it up on this one. So the fact that you've got like a finished game or pretty finished game, um, you know, it says V uh, 0.0.1 or 3, sorry, I can't read. <laughs> but um, it's like a full, fully functioning thing. You know, you got your main menu, you got your pause menu, you got all this stuff, you got levels, you got a save system. That's a lot of stuff going for you. That's really good. So it's an awesome start. Um, you know, yeah, keep at it, keep making games. I really liked the music in the boss fight. That was good. Um, yeah, awesome work making all the art. It's really good stuff. Next game. I'm, I'm gonna stop doing the clapping thing. That's not, not, not for me. All right, so for this next one, we have a game called Flop. And also, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but uh, if you want to follow the developers of any of these games, to, I'll, I'll have like social links and stuff for the developers who requested those uh, in the description for all these games. So be sure to check that out. Game volume a little bit here. All right, God and Satan fought for my soul those three long hours. God conquered, now I have only one doubt left. Which of the twain was God? Alistair Crowley, an occultist. All right, very nice. Who doesn't love a good occultist? All right, click to view notification. Eddie, Ed, Ed, Eddie, all right. Thanks for coming. I know your socializing's not really your thing. Yeah, I'm just an antisocial human. Still, I can't believe I'm gonna be living with you. Don't even pretend like you don't got a crush on me, cutie. Me? Who, me? Uh, hey, how do you think it went? What, the block party? Yeah, it was fun. What? What you mean? That old guy seemed kind of uptight around me. That's Giles? Gills? I don't know. He's uptight around everyone. No, that's, that's good here. You think I made an okay impression? Sheesh, you always do this. Lamow. It's not like it was a performance. People just wanted to meet the new neighbor. Everyone loved you. Don't worry so much. Thanks, man. <laughs> cool. Oh, we got another one from the neighborhood group. Velma says, thanks for coming, Ray. It was so much fun getting to know you. Bradley says, yep, for real. Glad to have you in the neighborhood, pal. Oh, that's awesome. How nice of them. Thanks, everyone. Excited to get settled in. Oh, Giles says, your dog is very loud. How dare you, Giles? Screw you. Also, by the way, can we, can we get a, a like on the video for dog? 
You know how this works. Sorry about that. He's usually quiet. He's getting used to the new place, I think. You need to put him on a leash. Oh, you need to put a leash on him. I have a cat. <laughs> yeah, Giles seems like the kind of person to have a cat. Freaking Giles. Jeez. Uh, I forgot to pack the leash in the move. I'll pick up a new one on my way home from work tomorrow. See that you do as soon as possible. All right. All right. Is this our uh, our office? All right. We got more notifications. We got some stuff from Eddie. Saw how Giles was talking in the group chat. <laughs> what a dick. Lamau. Haha. <laughs> is he always like that? Pretty much. What a dude. You off today? Now, nah, same shift every day this week. 3 to 12. 3 to 12. That's that's quite a shift. Interesting hours. What does he do? 3 to 12? Hmm, interesting. Seems suspicious to me. All right. Sounds lame. Ass. It's ass. I said the naughty word. Oh, no. All right. Okay, well, that's it. Um, all right. Oh, we got a cutscene. <gasps> oh, we got blood. Is it the dog? Did Giles kill our dog? That's not a dog. Looks like a meower. Looks like a cat. Hey, we gotta talk. Found a dead cat in the apartment, so, uh... Hey, sorry, man. Can't right now. Super busy at the store. I think Rex killed Giles' cat. What if Giles killed Giles' cat? Seems like the kind of guy. I'll oh, click to next. And another notification. Oh, but we can actually walk around this time. Well, I guess we could before, too. Giles. Are you into me, Raymond? Wait, wait, wait. Are, are we Raymond? Are we Ray? Is Ray and Raymond the same person? Oh, what is this? Uh, there don't have to be any strings attached. It's just sex. Animals eat, sleep, and and naughty word. It doesn't have to be any more than that. I'm not sure I understand either. What is this? No, thank you. Giles is a strange man. Giles, there's something I need to talk to you about. Your cat did. Don't bother. I saw your dog run off with my cat limp in his mouth. Oh, ooh, plot twist. We're the evil ones. Giles, I'm so sorry. Nothing can be done. Wait, so what does this even mean? I'm, I'm confused. Is, is Giles hitting on me? Is, is he a, a, a creeper? Can't tell. All right. Nothing can be done about it. It's done. I loved that cat, and yet I feel nothing. I am numb. Yeah, yeah, Giles, y you seem like the kind. I'm not surprised. Giles, if there's anything I can do, anything at all, please let me know. Oh, goodness. Oh, he's, he types really fast. Okay, I am thy mate, I am thy man. Go to thy flock, I am gold, I am God. Through solace stubborn to equinox. And I rave, and I rape, and I rip, and I rend. Everlasting world without end. Am I, am I summoning a demon right now by reading this? <laughs> am, am I being... Is this some sick prank? Alright, well, in any case... Giles, I take it, is into the occult. Goodness, there's a lot of messages. Okay. Hi, Velma. It's Ray. Okay, so we are Ray. So, I think when we were in the office, we were playing as a different character then. Because I think it was at that point when we said uh, something like, I think Ray killed the cat. Or maybe it was a completely different person. I'm not sure. Uh, it's just a little bit hard to keep track of the characters. That's So that's one thing uh, I might critique a little bit. Is... Uh, you know, make sure make sure that it's it's clear who who's speaking at at what time, because um, when you introduce like a lot of characters at one time, it can be a little bit difficult. So you know, like color coding and stuff like that, that's helpful. So like, it's good that you did that here, like with like oh oh, darn it, I accidentally clicked off before reading the stuff. But anyways, we got Bradley here, color coded, um, and you know, it's we're saying like, hey, it's Ray. So that's that's really good. See, we're establishing who's talking right now um, and maybe it has been Ray talking the whole time um, but in that case it I guess it just doesn't quite make as much uh, quite as much sense to me uh, who who's who's talking so that's that's it um, uh, hey Bradley it's Ray we met at the block party do you know how, uh, much about Giles he's been sending me some weird messages yes that he has all right Eddie 
I think Rex. Okay, 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 okay. Rex. So there's Rex and Ray. Sorry. Okay. That that makes a little bit more sense. It's still yeah, I'm I'm just terrible with names. I guess maybe for the ten percent of people like me, maybe it would make sense to change the name to something more distinct. I don't know. Or or maybe it's fine. It's it it's probably okay. What the heck? <laughs> it's oh is wrong with Giles. Oh, did, is Giles going to kidnap us? So that's another thing. I'm, I'm, this is uh, a horror game, of course. Uh, I think we've established. But one thing about horror games is you need to be able to see in them. Darkness is... Uh, it can be scary, but usually it just makes it hard to see. So that's, that's one critique. Um, and that's something that I feel... Oh, hey. Fetch my heart, says the dead cat. Or is that it right there? It's very difficult to see. It's like nearly impossible to see. I mean, I am liking it so far. The dialogue is good. I, I like the characters. I like the, the character development. Um, but this is very dark. Uh, oh, hey, I found it. All right, I got it. So now I can bring it back. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, there's a dude. I, I, what was that? <laughs> you got me with that one. Yeah, you got me. Yeah. So one thing. Yeah. So main main thing that I have to say here is, um, and it's it's very common. I've done this before. Uh, my first horror game was way too dark, and people had it like they, they couldn't see anything so um, make sure that your player either has a very bright flashlight or make sure there's a lot of ambient lighting you know like light fixtures you know maybe you got fires or torches depending on you know what your game is like um, or or something like that or just bring up the you know like your skylight in Unreal Engine at least you know you have a skylight which is basically just your ambient lighting bring that up until you can pretty much clearly see everything. Um, otherwise, you'll run into people not being able to see. So uh, the cat said no forgiveness. <laughs> um, uh, so I don't know if he wants me to bring him something else. I have a feeling I maybe just need to go back up to my room. Or maybe I can go in here now. Because this door looks... Oh, yes. Okay, so I can go in here now. I heard a dog. Oh, there's a dude. There's a spooky dude. Coming closer. Can I walk towards him or away from him? I can't tell. Oh, okay. And now we have a jump scare. Okay. I gotta say, that's a pretty good build-up for the jump scare. I like how that was structured. See, okay, so like, what what we're seeing here, this is really good. Like, as you can see here, like, it's this is bright enough that I can clearly see everything. You know, like, it's dark enough that I can tell it's not, like, incredibly bright. But it's light enough that I can actually see and move around. So this is really good. Keep this up. You know, if you, if you do this with, like, the, um, you know, the rest of it, that'd be, like, top-notch stuff there. Plus, also, you know, you want to be able to show off your awesome environments, you know? You don't want the, the awesome environment design to get hidden by, uh, by shadows. So, looks like I'm, I'm being chased, maybe, by, uh, the black cloud here. Can't tell if I'm being chased or if that's. Look at me. I'm assuming at that. Oh, where? I can't move right now. Okay, appease me. Oh, and there we have it.
Okay. Claps. I really like the ending. The ending sequence there was really good. Like the last five minutes, I think were really, really fantastic. Um, so here's here's what I'd say because I'm I, I'm super into horror. I love horror games. I love all this kind of stuff. So I've I've got a little bit of feedback, and I I don't want you to think that I'm uh, trying to like rip your game to shreds because it was genuinely good. But I think you could improve it or not improve it a lot, but like there are things you could do to make it even better. <laughs> So, one thing, obviously, uh, bringing up the brightness in that first um, part there. Um, I liked how there was the one the the one jump scare where he like was dude was like at the door and you like try and open it. That was really good. That was a really good moment. The ending sequence where you go down the hall, that was pretty cool too. Um, I like the structure for the for the one jump scare. I think. If I have any feedback on that on the specific jump scare, I think maybe just make it happen like the actual like the jump scare moment itself, make it happen a little bit quicker, just like more of a snap, you know, like boom, now it's right in front of you. Um, I feel like maybe it was like a little bit too long, but that's that's kind of just nitpicking. So you know, you can you can take that or leave that. Main thing is just uh, making it a little bit brighter. Um, and I think you're golden. So awesome job. This was really good. Next game. Okay. So this game, uh, there's no main menu, uh, but it's called FNAFM, I think. That was the name of the executable. So, um, all right. So press enter to remove the suit. Oh, wait. No, that's shit. Okay. Enter. Okay. Now we're in the game. So we can look around. We hit enter. And here we are. Okay. Objective. You killed five children. Clean their blood before... Uh, midnight okay and we got uh, 30 seconds until midnight all right so we got uh am i am i is that a that might be a different language or something i'm not i'm not sure <laughs> that might be like I mean like interact or something okay so we got the body suit here the environment here is fantastic the environment design on this is actually really really good um i it's 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 what I really like about this is that it's dense, and I'm about to die here, but it's it's very short. Uh, restart. Got caught by the police, so I guess it's like it's like one minute. But yeah, I really like the environment. It's nice and dense. The camera shake might be a little bit too intense. Uh, I actually made a video about camera shake just recently, and um, it, it I feel like the the camera moves back and like uh, rotates a little bit too much uh, because that can make people dizzy and nauseous. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. All right, so we just got a flashlight. I'm assuming it's F. And then we hit E to open the door. All right, so that was E to open the door. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about this more at the end. Okay, so, uh, E to clean up the blood. We got an entered. Is that what these guys are called? Oh, and we can sprint too. Okay, that's good. Okay, and I got caught. All right, this time I'm gonna speed run here, and we're gonna we're gonna actually beat it. All right, so we got flashlight, flashlight, F, E, E, right? Yeah, okay. Go ahead, through here. E, 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 right? E, F. How, how do I clean this? Okay, there we go. E. Maybe I just wasn't close enough. E, 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 E. Come on. The cops are gonna get here. I gotta clean. I'm a speed cleaner. Uh, come on, come on, come on. All right, we got one more, one more, one more. Where's it at? Where's it at? Prick, 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 prick. Okay, I got 22 seconds. I should be okay. Where did it go? Where? These models are awesome. Okay, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, I got that. Job is done. Get back to the car. I'm assuming that's towards the exit door. Oh, what am I going to... Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. Oh, my gosh. There's like one second to spare. Okay. Thanks for playing. And that's it. Very nice and short. Uh, that's awesome. Okay. All right. I've got a lot to say about this. Um, okay. So, for one, the environment is really good. I like that uh, it's short. Um, mainly because... Okay. I've talked about this in videos in the past, but... For your first few games, they should be very short, because basically, ninety percent of 
or I, I, I shouldn't give a percentage because I'm just basically just making that up. <laughs> but a lot of games, especially free games, they're people download them just based off of the concept. And if you have a concept that takes, you know, that's like an hour long, right? You've got an hour long game and you spend a year making it or something, you know, and you're just, people are downloading it off of the same concept that maybe you could portray in like a five minute game or a, a one minute game, for example, like we have here, you know, you'd spend way less time working on it and you could probably learn just as much. So, um, I think it's awesome that, uh, that you've made a short game. Um, this is really, really good. Uh, I'd say keep doing that. Make a few more short games, even maybe, you know, three, four, five, make a bunch of short games like this. Um, this is really good. I think the mechanics, the, the mechanics are nice. You know, it's simple. Um, you've got a, a lot of different things going on here. Uh, you know, you've got your, your camera shake, um, which is a little bit intense, but I think it's cool that you had it added. One thing that I will say about the controls is um, if, uh, and I, I sort of mentioned it a little bit, I acknowledged it a little, but um, you'll notice here, we go up to this flashlight and we click on the flashlight to, to pick it up. But we have to hit E to interact with everything else. So what I would do is I'd, I would just uh, contain the controls so that, uh, you know, when you're interacting, it's either, you know, you left click on everything or you press E for everything, one of the two. Um, and that'll just make more sense to play. Important. I'm also noticing that uh, you've got a leaning mechanic, which uh, I don't think is used, but I guess maybe if you're, uh, working on a, a longer version of this, then maybe that's what that's for. So that'd be cool. But um, overall, really good. I really like it. Awesome environment. Uh, good mechanics. Good job making a short game. It was really good. So m main things, just uh, condense the controls. And that's about it. Condense the controls and uh, make the camera shake a little less intense. And that would be really, really awesome. So good job. All right, so next game is called Glint. I think, is it Glint Flickering Light? Or is it just Glint? Okay, it's Glint. And this game is actually made in Unity. So, welcome Unity developers to the channel. Let's, uh, let's see what we got in options here. This menu stuff is uh, very nice. This is, it's very, very professional. All right, so we got store. Yeah, no, this is very professional. This looks very nice. All right, so we got hold left click and drag to aim. Okay, left click. Okay, so this reminds me a whole lot of Blackthorn Prod's game. Um, what's it called? Oh, well, I died. Oh, Flame Extinguished. Okay. Uh, what's it called? Dashing, dashing Fire, I think. Um, it reminds me a lot of that. So, I don't know if that was maybe a, of some inspiration, but it looks like we need to get to these things, the, the, the flower papery looking things here, otherwise the flame gets extinguished. And it looks like I just totally missed. But yeah, it looks very polished. I mean, it, it plays very, very well. It's pro gamer aim here. I'm a pro gamer aimer. Okay. Oh, I guess because I hit the the planet. I guess I didn't actually burn it up. What's this? What? I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. For some reason, when I click on that, it just makes me shoot down and, and die. So I guess I'll just not do that anymore. I don't know if it's good or bad to uh, to get like all of the things on uh, on a planet. I'm just gonna call them planets. I don't know what they really are. Oh no 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 no! I'm gonna oh oh okay okay I'm good I'm good. Dang it! I was like inside the planet when when I uh, tried to shoot so it like automatically. Uh oh! 
my camera just did a thing. Camera, come back. It probably ran out of batteries. Hey. Yep, the battery's dead. <laughs> okay, give me a second. All right, so it looks like... So at first I thought that this was level-based, because I think that's what dashing fire was. But it looks like this is... Um, basically, you just try and see how far you can get. So, like, my, my current highest is 12. And I think it's just... The goal is just to get a, as high of a score as you can. Oh, and I'm dead. All right, well, I think we kind of get the idea. Uh, if it was level-based, I'd, I'd keep going, but uh, it's not. So um, overall, this is incredibly uh, well-polished. Um, how do I go to the menu? I want to go to the credits and show off the awesome people who made it. Also, music is music is really good. I don't know how well everyone can hear that, but uh, where where are the info yeah there we go there's the credits yeah so um the art looks really nice um the gameplay is good it's simple but it's functional um which is awesome um got a bunch of testers on here painted games very nice collapse all around yeah i don't i don't know i don't have that much to say about it overall uh, pretty pretty good pretty solid um good art good sound good polish um you know you guys had a bunch of play testers on it so that's really awesome you guys play test your games everybody everybody out there watching make sure you get a bunch of people to, to try out your game first start out with you know family and friends be like hey come try out my game because basically as soon as you start seeing people play it you'll you'll find all kinds of bugs and weird little things that you weren't expecting to be issues so so good good job guys um play testing this that was uh that was really good so overall yeah solid game good job um we'll, we'll hop into the next one a mbb studio game presents lost in darkness this game contains horror pictures jump scares and creepy sounds good to know hey we got another fantastic main menu here massive two thumbs up on this fantastic main menu love it very nice wherever did you figure out how to do this all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna try the i've i've just tried the christmas day level once and i realized that there's a bunch of music playing that i have a feeling is is copyrighted so i'm gonna i've i've got i've got the audio turned off <laughs> So this year before Christmas, an evil goblin has stolen the presents from Santa, and he hit him around this area. You need to uh, help him find, help him bring them back before it's too late. Good luck, and uh, the goblin is angry, and he'll do anything he can to ruin Christmas. Okay, so, you got battery here. You got a present here. Um... More food and stuff. Got another present. We have two presents so far. We need to find ten, as you can see up in the objective corner there. We got like a whole Christmas village down here. That's that's kind of neat. Oh, and I'm out of sprint juice. Oh, hey, there's one. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I made a christmas horror game once it was about uh santa claus becoming a zombie basically i know i know you all are like oh my gosh i i need to play this i would pay so much money for that but calm down calm down no autographs please it, it, you guys didn't hear it but uh, th there was a, a jump scare sound i don't know what happened though we got our fire here. The assets, I'll say, they're pretty well put together. Um, I think I recognize some of these from from a few uh, packs on the marketplace, but they're they're put together in a pretty nice way. Um, pretty well detailed. Um, yeah, pretty good job uh, on assembling the assets. So good job with that. Okay, we got a few things here. 
We've got another one there, so we're up to seven. <laughs> is this art? Is Santa stuck in the the chimney here? Is he being burned alive? What does it say? You need to find all ten. Oh, oh, is this where? Wait, is this where I'm bringing them? I wonder if maybe this is where I'm bringing the presents. It looks like there's one straight ahead there. We could grab that. Oh no, it's food. Food and batteries. So that's good. Oh, is that the goblin? I see the goblin there. I'm gonna not go towards him. I think if we get close enough to him, then he'll just charge us. So we'll just uh, we'll just go all over this way. Oh, and we can jump. I forgot about that. Oh, hey, we got another gift. All right, so we got eight. Oh, and hey, and more batteries and food. Sweet, I got some more food. There's another jump scare sound. All right, we got nine. We only need one more gift here. I don't know where it is. I have a feeling it's up this way. Oh. Oh, no, Goblin Boy's after me. Maybe I can make it back to the safe house. It's right up there. Spare me, please. Will I die in here? Oh, oh, it looks like it went away. <laughs> All right, well, we still need one more gift. And I don't know where it might be. I also don't know where Goblin Boy went. Because, um... Maybe maybe last gifts over this way because we haven't really checked around. Here. Oh hey, boom right there. All right, okay so um, I'm guessing we need to take the gifts down to the down to the one house where Santa was at. Yeah, Santa house right there. Oh, was that an airplane up there? What is that? Oh, I just realized that there's a gigantic goblin flying there. That's cool. All right, good, good stuff. And I have escaped. Okay, all right. So that's that. Uh, interesting game. It's a nice little Christmassy thing. Um, oh, and there's something. Oh, do we die anyways? Oh, I got some food. Oh, now what? Not over? What is this? Hmm, it appears it was only a dream. Okay. Santa didn't bring me any gifts. All right, well, there we have it. Claps to the developers. Claps and claps. Um, gameplay was actually pretty solid. Um... I don't think I ran into any bugs or anything at all. Yeah, I don't think I had any bugs. Um, seemed pretty well polished. Um, gameplay perspective there. Um, yeah, it's pretty good stuff. Um, I think one main thing that I'd recommend is that uh, there's, it seems like there's a lot of uh, copyrighted content um so like a lot of music a lot of uh like the the jump scare images in the first map um were definitely uh are copyrighted so stuff like that can potentially get you in trouble uh if you're launching a game commercially so if this is free there's less chance but you know for future projects um I'd recommend, uh, you know, not using copyrighted music, copyrighted logos, that kind of stuff, because potentially could be an issue. So if you just make uh, all your stuff yourself, or if you get stuff from like, uh, like you can you can find images that uh, are legal to use, uh, places like uh, I think like Pexels, um, you know, there are like free image um, archives and stuff that you can get copyright free images from so i'd recommend uh, taking a look at those also for sound effects uh, i'd recommend checking out uh, freesound.org there's a massive library with like tens or maybe even hundreds of thousands 
of free sound effects that uh, you can get free licenses for to use in your projects for whatever you need. Um, so that's the biggest thing that uh, that stands out to me. Uh, gameplay, simple but effective. You know, you got the, the stamina, hunger bar. You know, you've got a bunch of different mechanics all working together. I'd say it worked out. So uh, pretty nice, pretty nice. All, all around, pretty great game. So great job. Um, and we'll hop into the next game. Next game we're going to try out is Dryad, Dawn of Humankind. All right. Got some very intense music in this. You guys hearing that? Pretty dope beat. Loading screen looks very nice. Some nice art. Okay. I take it that this is a dryad. It's also not doing anything. This seems as if I've maybe fallen out of the map. I don't really know. Let's try it again. All right, there we go. And now we have become, oh my word. Okay, that's pretty dope. All right, so that's the ice ray and that's the fire ray. Holy crap, that's intense. Okay, press space to jump, press twice to double jump. I like that you've got uh, a tutorial like inside the game here. I just had to turn that down. All right, so we got double jump, we got, oh, okay, respawn. Okay, so we got boink and boink. Boom, now we're here. All right, press left mouse button to use ice beam that can freeze some objects. What can I, okay. Okay, oh shoot. That's a cool mechanic. F after jump to glide. You can't dash after glide, got it. So like, oh, I have to hold. Okay, gotcha. Okay, that's neat. So we got like a kind of a like a sky surfing kind of thing here. That's pretty. That's actually really cool. I like that. All right. So next we got to press the right mouse button to use fire beam that can activate machines and unfreeze some objects. All right. So, hey, we did a thing. Oh, it automatically put me into 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 glide mode because I had glided already towards uh, a thing. So that's something that you might might consider changing. Oh shoot, how am I gonna get to that oh, now? <laughs> All right, well maybe I can go, if I go jump, jump, dash. I can't dash, why can't I dash? I might need to restart the level since uh, I fell off there. Yeah, I think I need to restart the level, so I'm gonna try that again and hopefully not fall off. Because it doesn't look like the platform comes back. I like the animation. The animation is really good. I'm assuming this is all custom animation, which is pretty impressive because I, I can't, I mean, I haven't really tried that much 3D animation, but what animation, uh, 3D animation I have tried, it uh, wasn't all that great. So good job on this. Also, I, I like the gliding. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. I mean, all of it. I, I really like all the mechanics. They're very nice. Ooh, we got a cutscene. Ooh, ooh, let's go. Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay, okay. We got Dryad versus. Uh, versus greedy oil miners or something. And it's up to the dryad to save the world. Also, can I, uh, can I like blow stuff up with my fire? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so I just controlled that. So now I can like go on top of this. Will it lift up now? Do I, can I power it? Oh, okay, 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 so I power it. And now I can hop across here. Okay, so now I gotta figure out somewhere else to go. Do I go in here? Yes, okay. Tunes are jamming. Okay, oh, this is really cool. I like the, 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 like the heat wave effect. We must save uh, stuff, press R. Very 
really good animation. Um, wait. Oh, okay, okay. So that was the other door. That's what that was. Okay, so it looks like we need to go the other way now to unlock this side of the door. All right, so let's go over here. Hit R. Now we can get in. Heck yeah. All right, let's see what we got in here. Oh, we got a boss, I think, I'm assuming. Exciting stuff. Boss time. Okay, how's this gonna work? Oh, 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 oh. Are these gonna start, what? How do I survive? So some of these start burning and I have to, I guess, stay on the ones that are not burning because I will burn. I'm assuming I'm going to need to use my, my shooting, but I don't exactly know how. Uh, I'm just floating up here. What? Oh, okay. That was unexpected. To say the least. Okay, looks like uh, I just noticed down at the bottom. Looks like there's like three stages here. Oh, and I got my health bar up there, and I've died. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is confusing me a little bit. Um, do I need to like shoot him in the eyes? Like I don't, I don't see that doing anything. Although it does look like uh, the order of these is always the same. I am completely unaffected by the fire if I just stand on the corner. Am I supposed to ice these? Oh, okay, that's a bad thing. <laughs> Am I supposed to like fly into his stomach here? Okay, I'm, I'm not really getting any direction here to what I am meant to do. I don't know if there's anything I can interact with. He also does that for a very long time. So I feel like I must have to do something while he's in this phase. It's like the only thing that really makes sense. Otherwise, I feel like it wouldn't be happening for this long. Oh, hey, okay. I, I did have to shoot his eyes. Okay, so so that's, that's good. That makes sense. Um, but I'm going to say um, feedback is very important like player feedback or uh, giving feedback to the player so when the player does something your game should do something in return so if i shoot his eyes um then he should be like ah like he should make noise or something he should or like the the progress bar should go down or something um you know stuff should happen in response to the player's actions. So that is that is something very, very, very important because otherwise people are going to, they're gonna be playing your game, right? And they're gonna be like, I, what's going on? I, it's not doing anything. I can't figure out how to progress when really they are progressing and they just don't even know it. So that is important you have to freeze this dude for a really long time before anything happens and most people if they don't get um reinforcement that what they're doing is correct soon like within a few seconds then they'll just give up on trying to do that thing so letting people know instantly that they're doing something right is uh very important it's like even now i mean i don't know how long i've been doing this at least like over a minute and uh, I'm starting to wonder if I'm doing the right thing or not, because I've been doing this for long, for so long. All right, so I've been doing this for like literally like five minutes. Uh, and there it goes. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not gonna try again. Uh, that was like 20 minutes of that boss fight. All right, so 
here are my thoughts. <laughs> um, overall, you got you got a good game. You got a cool platformer. You got a cool concept. You got cool art. Really awesome music. Um, pretty solid game mechanics too, like all during the the first part. But that boss fight is much too hard. So if you plan on working on this game anymore, be sure to uh, make make sure players know when they're actually doing damage, um, and um, and make it not so uh, difficult. Because I was sitting there spraying ice on the dude for at least 10 minutes 10 minutes of just sitting there spraying him um i don't know if i was spraying him in the wrong places i don't know if i like the game didn't tell me any of that so that's something that's really really important that we can check out the credits here um so it really is good um just gotta make sure you work on that game feel feedback kind of stuff because that's stuff that can can make or break a game awesome but yeah keep working on it keep making games and uh and good job on this one all right here we go we got mape which is made with unity and mape is kind of a, a the combination of maze and escape so we got maze escape so let's um try one of them oh i accidentally clicked on that but that's okay We'll just do the, the desert maze then. All right, so we got baby mode, easy mode, normal. Let's just go for normal, for now at least. I might need baby mode later at some point. Okay. Oh, okay. Defeat the cactopi. Uh, cap, cap, cactopike. Okay, I died. Um. Oh, and I died again. <laughs> okay, so let's try a different weapon. Oh, hello. Okay, so that works. Um, and this one seems to work too. It looks like I throw an, an axe. Okay. Oh, okay, this one's working too. Okay. Oh, and I died. Okay, do I, okay, so I've got hearts up in the corner. Oh, it looks like this is randomly generated. All right, I'm gonna try the bow. I'm just gonna go ranged here. Let me see if I can open this. Maybe I can break this, the chest open. Oh, music is turned off. Heck no, we want that music on. Hopefully this isn't copyrighted. Pretty, pretty dope tunes. Okay, so we need to find a way out of here. Is there no way out of this one? It looks like I'm completely blocked off, unless I can get into the chest here. I got a bad feeling about that music. I'm going to keep the music turned off. I have a bad feeling that it's copyrighted. I feel like uh, the random generation may have randomly generated an impossible maze. So I'm going to so I'm gonna try to... Uh, I'll reboot the game and try it again. All right, let's try the stone maze, actually. And 100% use the bow. Oh, my gosh. Okay, and I died. All right. Uh, one. Shoot the dude. Those ghosts are really fast. All right, so I can kill ghosts. Um, so we gotta find the boss. That is our goal right now. My CPM are, is that the right term? CPM clicks per minute or something? My gamer skills, so supreme. Oh my gosh, that ghost, the ghosts are so fast. Maybe if the ghosts were a little slower, that'd be kinda cool. I like the mechanics though. The mechanics are nice, they're simple. It's kinda like some simple, like, you know, dungeon crawler. Uh, roguelite exploration kind of stuff. Uh, I got some lasers going on here. I like that there's multiple uh, different map themes too. I think that's pretty neat. Adds a bit of depth to it. Oh, okay. All right, here we are. The Brickinator. Oh, boy. Oh. I also like the, the character designs. Oh, hey, I escaped. Heck yeah. Sweet. All right, so it looks like some, we got some credits here made by Shiny Emerald Games. Very nice. Congratulations to me. I escaped. Awesome. Well, cool. All right, I'm, I want to try another one of these. Uh, let's do the Christmas maze, and I'll go. I'll go hard mode. I also like how the the mazes are like actually like kind of randomly generated. I think that's pretty neat. That's like some like advanced stuff right there. So is the okay? Ooh. So it looks like the exit might always be above. 
but I do not know that for a fact. Get out of here, hat man. Hey. All right. Well, nice. Okay. Mate. Maze Escape by Shiny Emerald Games. Good job, first of all. I like that. I mean, you've got a bunch of different uh, levels. That's pretty neat. You got like some procedural generation stuff going on. Multiple different uh, items you can use. Um, overall, you got some some pretty good stuff going here. Um, definitely keep at it. You know, um, I like that you've got like you've got like multiple phases in the game. You know, you've got like the, the first stage where you're just like trying to find the boss, right? And then after that, you get to actually fight a boss, and then you escape. So you got like multiple fa multiple phases. Cool stuff. Be sure to uh, follow them on YouTube. Um, Shiny Emerald. Got some cool stuff over here. Man, you got a lot of cool looking stuff. Yeah, good job. Let's uh, hop into the next game. All right, so next up we have Quarantine Run. All right, by Main Motions. That's, a, that's an awesome logo. All right, so here we have Quarantine Run. I would assume that it's like an infinite runner. Man, we got a whole bunch of, we got a bunch of maps. Oh, these ones are locked. I guess I'll hit play. There's a play button up here. <coughs> okay, we got him like Naruto running out here. Good stuff. All right, so we can jump. Ooh. We can roll. What happens if we go like over here? Interesting. So are we just able to like run super far to the side? I like how there's different jump animations. That's pretty cool. All right, so it looks like you can jump off the map. So let's uh, restart here. So one thing that you could do, just to fix that super easily, um, if you go into Unreal, I'm trying to think of what it's called, uh, a blocking volume. If you take a blocking volume out of the, uh, the content uh, outliner thing uh, and you drag it in and you just make a big, super long blocking volume, then people won't they'll just have to stay on this track. So that that could be a good thing. Okay, so it looks like we're just uh, we're running. Oh, darn it. <laughs> okay, so our goal is, I'm assuming, it looks like we've got, uh, so we've got our time here. We've got, um, is that our record? Trying to figure out, uh, I, I'm assuming we're trying to get like uh, as many coins or points as we can. I think that's the goal. Let me jump up there. So we can roll two. So I don't think, it doesn't look like we've gotten far enough yet for there to be like um, obstacles for us to roll under. But I figure we'll probably get there at some point. Oh shoot, was that like a double jump? That seems like way higher. I think I, I must have gotten a power up. I'm jumping way higher than I was before. Oh, darn it. It ran out. <laughs> right right as I was trying to jump over the rock. Okay. Man, the effects are kind of cool. Oh. The two times appears to give us... Okay, so that gives us more points, basically. So that makes the timer go up faster. So that's what the two times does. Um, oh, what's this one? Does that make me go faster? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It just shows my um, my speed down here. I just noticed that. Oh, okay, and I'm going super jump. So currently we're going 63 kilometers per hour. That seems pretty fast. Okay, now we're going 65, 66, 67. Okay, so it's going up. So I think, I, I guess I got a power-up for that. I like all the power-ups. I think that's cool. I think that's really cool that you've got that kind of stuff going on. So up to, we're up to 69 kilometers per hour. Oh, 70. Oh, and I got super jump. All the effects in this are pretty good too. Like you got like the 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 virus fog, and you got the lightning stuff going on. That's pretty cool. Oh darn it! Okay, all right. Let's go to the menu. Let's see if we can like buy a new character. Multiplayer. There's a multiplayer. Oh shoot! That's crazy. That's awesome. All right, we got a shop here. Hospital outbreak for 3,000 coins. Do I have, I have 300? 300 coins. I think that's how many coins I have. I'm at level four. Um, 
I kind of like I want to be able to get uh, I can get the doctor patient there's a lot to this there's actually a lot to this like this is like from a technical standpoint a programming standpoint there's a lot to this this is actually oh I just gosh dang it I accidentally just hit the quit button did I get like a magnet I think I got like a, some kind of like a magnet power up because now like I'm getting everything before like I even walk into him. One thing that would probably be really cool for this is if, um, and maybe maybe there is, maybe I just missed it, but if there's uh, like a, sort of like a tutorial menu that shows like what all the power-ups do, I think that'd be cool. That'd be super handy. Ooh. So times two, so now I'm assuming now I'll get maybe more points for the coins. Or maybe that's just for the um, for the time. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not quite sure which. See, so that, that I guess that's just where um, it'd be kind of cool to have uh, like an explanation somewhere. And I guess I guess after this round, I'll try and see what I can find. I'm also interested as to what uh, what it's like in multiplayer. Like, how does that work? Oh my gosh! I just realized I'm going a hundred and oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! 110 kilometers per hour like dang it also seems like there's more obstacles now so it might be the difficulty might be ramping up some which would be good i'm up to 130 kilometers per hour i want to get up to like like 500 kilometers per hour i just want to be going so so darn fast Another thing that's making me wonder is if I'm actually, like, if the character is actually moving faster over time, or if that's just a, a visual thing down there. I, I, oh, 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 what did I get? What was that? Did I get that, or did I not get it? I think I'm actually moving faster, too, by the way. It looks like it speeds up over time, so that's really good. That's a good thing to do, because that just automatically adds difficulty as you go. Oh, gosh, dang it. <sighs> okay, let's go to the menu. Um, so we've got 384 coins. And the ne the cheapest thing, it looks like it's 1,200 coins, which is a lot. Oh, wait, no, it says 400. So I'm not sure how many <laughs> how many coins I actually have. Yeah, I, I, I probably won't play it long enough to buy any of those the new maps. I think maybe one thing you could do, because it, it's, it's like, it seems kind of uh, inspired by like mobile game um, infinite runners. Um, and a, one thing that uh, mobile games do to get people addicted <laughs> is um, they'll basically give you a bunch of stuff right in the beginning or make it like really easy to get coins in the beginning. Uh, or they'll make like the first few upgrades like super cheap um, and then they'll consistently like exponentially make each um, upgrade cost more so that there's more time in between each upgrade so um, I think pacing it that way would be could be really good for it uh, for like increasing uh, the the amount of time that people play for you know like let's say like um, there's one map that costs only like, you know, like 500 coins or something. And the next map costs a thousand coins. And then the next map after that costs 2000. And then maybe like, there's another map that costs like 5,000, you know? So it's like constantly like ramping up and that way, uh, you get dopamine at like all the right intervals. Uh, and it, and it makes you addicted basically. So and that's that's like explained in the most rudimentary way possible because I don't fully understand it myself. <laughs> it's just something that I've kind of heard talk of. Oh. All right. Well, there we have it. Well, cool. All right. Well, I like that. Oh, and you can follow him on tr uh, Twitter too. So maybe I'll... I'll Roll a link for that as well down in the description. All right. Well, um, good job.
this is actually really cool. This is like, especially from a technical perspective, you know, like this, the, the programming on this is definitely like, like advanced stuff, you know? I mean, you got like multiplayer in here. Like that's, like that's crazy. I'm, I'm impressed with that. I've never even tried to uh, approach multiplayer just cause it, it scares me. But, um, I like that you've got multiple um, maps and stuff. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm not going through to, to get all of them. But um, yeah, there's a lot to this. Um, I think main things to, uh, to adjust would be uh, adding a little bit more explanation for you know some of the, the, the items, since I didn't entirely understand what all of them were. Um, some of them were kind of obvious, but some of them weren't. And I, I don't feel like I was able to find anything about that you know putting a like a blocking volume on either side of the track that just like stretches out infinitely that would be really really helpful that way people can't like fall off the map um but other than that you know you got like a solid you know infinite runner game you know this this is what an infinite runner game is supposed to be so uh good job uh keep at it and uh let's hop into the the next game Alrighty, so the game we have here is called The First AI, and this game was actually made for the Epic Mega Jam, which is uh, the same game jam that uh, my game Cloud Climber was uh, meant for, made for. <laughs> so uh, I'm excited to check this one out. Thanks for, for sending this over to me, um, and I'm excited to check it out. So this, is, this was made in one week, one week for a game jam, so let's check this out. We got some disease around here too. I'm here, found the record. You should have started your easy project. Exactly. How could I forget? Thanks, Jennifer. Okay. So we got like some AI stuff going on here. I guess that's why it's called the first AI. Someone with the coughs. All right, what do we got here? What do we got? Oh, all right, and we're in. Hi, Ethan. My name is Alice. I am the artificial assistant at this station. You need to find Roswell at the you? control center. He'll explain everything. I'm sorry that we are getting to know each other under such circumstances. All right, so it looks like I just broke out. So I'm, am I one of the... Oh, I am. I was going to say, am I like one of these robot people? And it would appear that I am indeed. All right, one. What's happening? Uh, All questions after. Oh. I opened the door okay. for you. Okay. Okay, so it's like a dialogue system. Okay, cool. So we just hit the key to do our response. All right. So who who'd they say we're looking for? Is it Ethan? Like I've said before, I suck with names. Uh, oh, we go. To, oh, hey, there's the dude. Alice. Do I click on Did you e? find Roswell? Okay. Roswell. <laughs> why, why didn't I think it was Ethan? Dead? It shouldn't have happened so soon. He left a note for you in case. Launch it from the central panel. Okay, so we got a note at the central panel. Uh, Hi, Ethan. Recording. I'm sorry we're listening to this under the circumstances. Humanity can no longer be saved. But for you, this is only the beginning. You need to start the main generator and make a choice before this place falls asleep forever. I would like to hmm. tell you and explain so much, but I'm afraid we don't have time. It's been a long time for humanity, but we're not done yet. You must remember one thing. It's important. When the time comes to make a decision, I don't want you to follow the program. Follow your heart. It's all Ethan. There are a couple oh, okay. of there, hours there is an before Ethan. the global power outage. You need to hurry. Global power outage? Okay, what should you I do? You must collect five energy sources from different compartments and place them in capsules near you. They will start the main generator and you can load your program. Each passage from this center leads to a specific sector. We need to hurry. When the power supply goes out, we will not do anything. I opened the passage to the first sector for you. All questions along the way. 
Oh, okay, we can go up here now. Um, let's just you go need down. To upload your source code to the control center to awaken the other androids and lead them. Okay, well, where are we? We are in Alaska at the World Scientific Center for the Study of Artificial Intelligence. Yeah. I like that there's like a, a story to this. Like that's really neat. All right, so what do we got here? We got uh, Alice, an android lying here. What does he look like? Uh, he has something in the shape of a cube glowing on this his is chest. It, the source of energy. Okay, source of energy. All right. Uh, can we take it elsewhere without harming the android? If we had more time. Unfortunately, this is the only option. Get the energy source. Yes, I'll rip it out of you. I'm afraid to die. Sorry, I my need heart. that. Why do you want to take my heart? But what about my family? Sarah will miss me. I can't leave her. No, you can't take him. Oh, yes, I can. I have no choice. I have a key. There are many hearts in that room, but I could not enter it, so I took this one here. You promise you won't touch me if I give you the key. Hmm. So we got, like, a bunch of, like, moral dilemmas here. I like this. This is cool. I'm really liking this so far. We're, like, two minutes in, but I, I like the moral dilemma aspect screw this guy no, no. i'll what just about my i'll just take his heart Sarah. <laughs> oh is he is he not oh wait oh we now got it can go back and put the energy source in the capsule oh okay sweet we don't have to travel back there that's awesome that's that's a really nice like quality of life feature there is just being able to quick travel back all right so we got a capsule somewhere i guess it's one of these huh Oh, sick. Good start, Ethan. Well done. First, I thought this was a dead dog. Remember, everybody, to give a like for the dog. All right, we got... Oh, hey. Just chilling. How's it going? What's up? My name is Ethan. <laughs> I'm here to steal your heart. Why are you standing like here? The view, but I want to go beyond the horizon. To do this, you need to take a step. I'm afraid of what will be there. So you can stand for eternity. Now the sun will set and I will definitely go. How long have you been standing this here? This will be the 48th time it goes over the horizon. Lucky <laughs> number, twice my name. I definitely can. 48 days. Why didn't you go earlier? I will wait for a better moment and go. Alright. Uh, well, I'm afraid another comes. <laughs> I, am I need your heart. Take it. Oh. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> well, thank you for your sacrifice. Dang. Uh, I, I was not expecting that. I'm on a hunt for hearts. I'm like Cupid, but but not at all like Cupid, and also really bad. I'm in some kind of room with computers. It looks like an this office. This is Roswell's office. He used to work there with his team. Roswell said he left one more note for you. Check the computers. Oh, hey. Hello, this? Ethan. I haven't told you everything. When I was almost finishing working on your latest version, for the first time in six months a message came to the mail. I then thought that I was already the last one in the world. Biologists found a way to overcome genetics. They bred a genes without mutation. If you follow their development, you can start a process of evolution from the beginning. You can create people and make sure that everything is as it should be. All the information you need is already embedded in your memory. I'm sorry I didn't tell you this right away. You just weren't ready. I hope you see this illusion as an option, not as a necessity. I still want this to be your conscious choice. I am proud that I have you. I have always dreamed of a son. Aww. I'm like a son to him. Alright, uh, move to the control center. Wait. But we don't have a heart. Alright, so I don't know what we're doing here yet. Where did we get an energy source from? Hmm. Okay. Yes, Ethan. I knew. When you will restore central power. 
you have to choose between leaving humanity behind by creating your own species, or sacrificing yourself to bring people back to this earth. I don't think I came from this way. Yeah, I haven't been here before. Yeah, this is new. What is that? Oh, it's just a Anakin person. Hello. Hey, there's a dude. Give me your heart. Oh my gosh. What, you just like kill all these people? This is rather brutal seeming to me. All right, where's this freaking heart man? Yes, come to me. What happened here? I, I killed them. Hearts, oh. But they didn't want to give theirs. <laughs> Did you kill them? Yes, now I have a lot of hearts. This is their life. You had no, well, it's kind of funny that I'm the one saying this, considering I just, like, stole a couple people's hearts. They shone so brightly, and those androids insulted me all my life. Oh, that they makes it okay. They said that I was not like them. I have their hearts now, and no one offends me. Where are their hearts? I hid them. No one will find them. Not even me. What's the point in them if you cannot use them? But I know that I have them. Then I need your heart. No, my heart. But I see you have it too. Give it to me, or I'll take it myself. Oh, do we no have a... strength. Everything hurts. Got a fight here? Come closer. Stop. Don't bear touch my... I'll just grab that. Wait a minute. Okay, I'll tell you where to get another one. If you leave me mine. Nah. No. Don't touch. Alright. I just stole a heart. Alright, so we got that one. And I'll just need one more. What happened to that android? Wait. There was no one to teach him and he plunged into what you saw. This is what distinguishes old versions from new ones. So what were the old the versions? The first models I'm constantly killed themselves because they could not find meaning in their existence. If you think exclusively rationally, then there is none at all. People invent it for themselves in order to exist. Otherwise, they plunge into depression and die. Makes sense. First versions of AI, due to their fast memory, came to an existential crisis much faster than people in just a couple of seconds. Therefore, it was accepted to limit seven to eight pieces of information like people, and this was a breakthrough. We lived longer than usual, passed all the tests, but the memory got clogged. We were looking for meaning for ourselves, but we could not give it to others. When we lost ours meaning, we went crazy, we were reflashed and allowed to live this cycle again. You even can become the one who gives this meaning. Hmm. That's really cool. That's that's a cool uh, story point. I like how uh, like the AI is like so logical that they were like, ah, there is no meaning to life. And then they have an existential crisis instantly because they're AI and they can think really fast. That's a, that's a very interesting concept. I really like that. All right, so then we can go in here. Hey, we got one last person. What happened he here? Give me his heart. Uh, I'm sorry, but I need to take it. You have a heart. Why do you need one more? Uh, it'll help us build a new home, of course. Okay. Take the heart, but unplug me, please. I don't want to live without him. I can't. You're still alive. Oh, wait. There's a heart right there. Is that not a heart sitting there? What? You think so? I can't budge and the only one I love died. Let us be together somewhere. I've heard about heaven. And we could disable her. Uh, I promise I'll come back and help him. Or just take her heart and leave. Uh, I'll just take the heart and leave. I wonder if there's there's probably multiple no. endings to this. Come back. Turn me off, please. Uh, you are the worst of us. <laughs> yes, yes I am. Oh, it's right there. So, like, are you, are you dead? Or was that his heart? There's probably multiple endings to this. I think that'd be pretty neat. All right, what's next? It's done, Ethan. The time has come. Let's go to the control panel. It's time to make a choice. No parting speech or advice? You've seen a lot, Ethan, and said a lot. You're ready. What if I make the wrong choice? Everything is gray. There is no right or wrong choice. You are an android. You yourself know that. Yes, Everything I do. depends on how you want to see this world. Well said, Alice. I'm the ready. Is turned on. All right, let's make the choice. 
Uh, thanks for everything. Nice music here. Alright, I can leave humanity behind, create a new kind of android, start the process of evolution by sacrificing yourself to bring uh, people back, or leave it as it is and just walk away. Um, let's just leave the world. Just leave it as it is. Just chillin'. Can I move? No. Oh, oh, I can make a step. And just go on a walk. Just go adventuring. Neato. We got our credits here. Um, oh, we can we can view our. That's really really cool. <laughs> oh hey, check it out. And you got a. Uh, a Google Doc here. Um, am I able to skip this? <laughs> All right, I'll 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 fill this out. Sure. Um, required. R rate the game. Um, you know, I'd I'd probably give that like a, a seven or eight. How interesting uh, was it to play gameplay uh, wise? Gameplay wise, it was pretty simple. But I mean, that's not a bad thing. I mean, clearly it was a story, narrative, based. Uh, game so you know in that kind of case gameplay isn't that crazily important you know I mean if you're just trying to tell a story I mean I'd, I'd say seven or eight yeah uh, I'll, I'll go seven visuals visuals were great um, rate the scenario I think the scenario is awesome I really like the concept of it um, content of the text and its literacy I guess like how well was the how good was the translation I'm assuming because I see a different language here, so I'm guessing maybe it was translated. But it seemed like it was translated, like, I, I'd say 9 out of 10. It all made sense. Uh, rate the ending of the game. Well, I only got one ending. Um, I give it a 7. 7, 8. Yeah, I can just give that an 8. Your interest in this kind of games. Um, I'd say probably, like, a 8. I like, you know, story-based kind of stuff. The voice guidance was actually pretty good. Um, it was very easy to play. Like, it was easy to make sense of everything, everything that was that was going on. So I'd say a 9. How many minutes did it take to complete the game? Uh, 22 minutes. Which ending did I choose? Leave. Is the game too long? Or on the contrary, everything went too quickly. Is there not enough time to reveal the topics? Honestly, I thought it was, it was pretty well paced. Um, maybe even too short. Like, I, I feel like it maybe could have been padded out a little bit more. I liked communicating with all of them. I thought they were all interesting. You know, like each android, it wasn't just like some random android thing that it's it's not like they were all like, oh, no, I don't want to die. You know, they were all different and had unique dialogue. So I give them each, you know, dying on the floor. I give them a three sunset watching. <laughs> that one was great. I, I, I like that one. Um, the one that killed the other ones. That one was very interesting. Uh, girl in love connected to the device. Give that one a four. Leave any comment about androids. Uh, what would you like to add or remove? Some suggestion or good moments which impressed me. I guess I, I could just say them. <laughs> say them out loud. I could just talk them out. I, I liked the dialogue system pretty well. I think it, it was kind of nice just hit, being able to hit a key to do each line of dialogue. Uh, you know, I liked how there was like branching dialogue and stuff and all the like the different endings. That was really cool. Like, that, doing that kind of stuff, it doesn't seem like it would be that difficult, but if you haven't made a game that has multiple endings, or even just branching choices, um, adding that kind of stuff is much more difficult than just doing a linear, completely linear game. So, props to the developers. I don't know if this is multiple people or not. You know, I think, like, maybe, like, a little bit more polish between, like, like the movement and the sound, maybe... But like that's that's just like that's me scraping the bottom of the barrel, just nitpicking anything I can, because ultimately it's it's pretty good. So um, yeah, so uh, how would I rate this game compared to popular games of similar genre on the market? When I think of similar games, I think of like Telltale stuff. That's the only thing that I can really think of. Telltale, um, 
compared to other games. I mean, it's short. It's game jam game, pre-made assets. So like I, I'm tempted to rate it lower, like comparison wise. I mean, like for what it is, considering it was made in a week by you know small team or one person. I'm I'm not sure. Um, I'd give it like eight or nine. Um, you know, given the context for a sellable game. You know, obviously it would need more expansion. So I wish I didn't have to answer this question. I'll go with like a six. Doesn't mean it's bad. I guess, cause I guess like the, the question, this question, it's not really fitting since this game was made in a week by a small team. And if you're comparing Game Jam game next to all the best, most popular games on the market, it's not really a fair comparison at all. You know, if I was to compare any of my Game Jam games to, you know, massive commercially successful games, like it, it doesn't, it doesn't line up. You're, you know, it's comparing apples to oranges. I, I guess I'd say a six, but keep in mind that it's just, it's simply you're putting yourself in an unfair comparison. It's a, it's a really great game for, you know, given the context. So, all right. Well, it looks like that's it then. So that's it for that game. Cool. Good job. Claps. And uh, let's hop into the next one. All right, so we got Mist of Studios here. This is um, the Alan Sharp demo. Very nice. Hey, this looks like a familiar menu. Let's give it a play. Hey, yes, this is familiar. No. All right, let's do the prologue. I'm getting kind of hungry. I've been recording for so long today. All right. Oh, we got... Uh, A nice cutscene. Oh, oh. Okay. Man's be killing. How poggers. Okay, so is it a man kills his wife horror game? Nothing's happening. I think it, it, there might be a bug here. All right, I'm gonna restart the game. So it looks like there might be a bug when, um, after you finish the cutscene. These are some amazing cutscenes. Look at this stuff. An amazing soundtrack. Mr. Declan. My name is... I know is... who you are, Mr. Widdis. Erlin told me you would come to investigate the murder of my best friend. Let's not get too hasty here. James is missing, but we're not sure if he's dead. Now, is there anything that might help me find the answers? As far as I know, James did not allow anyone to come in his private room or the museum room on the second floor. I suggest you look there for answers, Mr. Widdis. It looks like this is all hand animated too, which is pretty impressive. Rick might have left those papers on the table. Maybe I should check them out. All right, click, uh, left click or press E to interact. All right, so I I may or may not have cut out uh, some of the cutscene because it was kind of long. But basic gist is um, there's this dude, and he killed his wife. And um, then in some other time period, or later on or something, I'm not quite sure yet, um, we are here, and some dude has died or is missing. We don't know if he's dead. Everything, all the sounds. All right, we got a key here. We got a note here. Hey, Jamie, hope everything's fine. Hmm. Can I be sure that James's wealth is only due to being an archaeologist? 
Oh, is he into like drugs or something? Okay, all right, now we can check our journal. All right, so Rick mentioned he left some papers on the table in the living room. Maybe they'll unveil a clue about this mystery, right? Uh, mother and father missing a boy. F Actually, why did I say this is a horror game? Maybe it's not. I haven't looked into it that much, to be honest. It might just be more of a mystery game, which is probably what it is. Uh, boy found killed in the wardrobe. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay. So they also killed a kid. <laughs> That's uh, nice of them. Uh, neighbors say the house is haunted. Mm. Okay, so maybe there's a little bit of horror stuff going on here with demonic rituals and black magic. All right, we got next, 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 previous, previous, previous. Okay, that's it. Um, oh, this is an interesting door. Oh, oh. This door needs power to operate. Howdy, my man. Looking mighty dapper today. Haven't been done here. Oh, is that blood? Blood. The game is, is saved. Hey, okay. All right, so I'm assuming I got to use this. All right, I don't know how to use items. Strange key with a snake emblem. All right, so I'm still looking for the door that uh, is unlocked by the key I found. I haven't found that yet. It also is very dark. I, I think a um, slightly brighter or a flashlight with a larger... Um, spread would be really good for this oh hi there what the hell was that thing that was a spooky dude we got a one out of four large mechanical keys so i suppose those are going to go up to that big mechanical uh door the one that requires power so we might need to oh we got some cockola my favorite soft drink Oh, we got a brightness setting. Sweet, I'm gonna turn that up. One thing that is always useful. Oh, I just found a key. Is if you add like a like a glow or an outline, or like like let's say I'm within like, you know, like five feet or however many game units um, of an object, an interactable object. If like it starts glowing a little bit or if like there's a sound by it or anything like that 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 could uh that could be nice all right michael was the son of james and laurel reagan and he was found dead in a closet pizza hey <laughs> that is pizza hey i did a thing all right, so it needs power, but the power is in the basement. That's where the breakers are at. Um, also, what the heck did the clock do? Oh, there's a <gasps> thing. I'm losing my mind. And um, uh, jump scare. All right, well, I got the thing. I feel like the next step has to be to go down into the basement, but but the inventory doesn't makes sense there's no instructions on it okay <laughs> well now i've done a little bit more video watching apparently items are used automatically except there's another key right here so personally i'm not the biggest fan of trying to find uh tiny little items in massive houses that's just me so I'm looking for, yeah, fuse panel. Oh, please open. Uh, am I missing a fuse? Looks like I need to find another fuse. So let's, oh, hey, here's the last one of these things. Very nice. So I just need to find a fuse. So hopefully the fuses aren't as well hidden. <laughs> Hello? Got me. Second drawer, I think you said. Yeah, that's a fuse. Let's go. Boop. I did a thing. Yay. All right, so now we can go up to that other door. Man, freaking Jesus over here scared me. Coming coming up the stairs, I'm like, whoop, Jesus, what are you doing here? 
You don't belong in a house as spooky as this. All right, let's hop over here. All right, plop some stuff in. Oh boy, we got a puzzle here with the placement of these, don't we? Also, can we turn the lights on? Hey, we sure can. Heck yeah. Let's turn all the lights on, man. Let's, uh, if we can. <laughs> The hell is going on here? Am I? Am I going mad? <laughs> Very nice. I expect that one got me more than it should have. Yeah, no, the graphics in this really are good though. I, I think it, it, it could it could handle being a little bit brighter um, in areas, but um, yeah, no, it looks really good though. Baby statue. Look at that baby. Yeah, baby. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Oh. Hey, here's the thing. <laughs> the mechanical door. Only four mechanical keys. Okay, alright. Well, here we go. Um. Oh, what? Oh, sweet. It brought that with me. Very nice. So all of these keys have the same symbol on them, which is not what I was expecting. Is there something on the back? Oh, we do have something. Four mechanical keys. Uh, Dear Miss Reagan, JS Engineering in collaboration with Target Doors and Windows, have constructed the custom door you requested. We have used your birth date to establish a combination for the locking mechanism. Okay, so each of these slots corresponds to a, a number. James Reagan was born on this day. So maybe it's like 1915? But it can't be 1915, because that would mean there's two ones. So that's the wrong birthday. All right, so whose birthday is it talking about? It's, yeah, dear Mr. Reagan, used your birthday to establish a combination. James, right, James Reagan. So um, every, like any four number combination of this would have two ones. That's it. I only know that because I watched a video. From the photograph, I wonder what uh, uh, secrets oh. are hidden in these walls. Uh, this is a thing. A hanging veil is opened. Moonlight bathes the eye. It shines upon an elephant. Its tusk is golden dyed. It travels to the heights. A lonely soldier's seen. He travels way up north, but I do not know where he's been. Dancing further in joy, a gleam adorns the anvil. It reveals a dark secret unleashed by the right angle. So can we like open these blinds maybe? Oh, hey, we can. I could probably change that to change the direction of the light. Can I cut myself up like a, with the laser? I'm noticing uh, there's a little delay when I click on this. Like I click and like a half second later it moves. Just a thing. All right, so what's what's the rest of the journal say here? Oh, it's cool that it, uh, the light actually, it only goes as far as you. That's really neat. I really, really like that. All right, so put the elephants. Oh, oh, we can change it. We could, very nice. Okay, so it's supposed to shine on its tusk. A gleam adorns the anvil. It reveals a dark secret unleashed by the right angle. So there's a thing on the anvil. Probably has to do with this guy here. So I'm gonna try and get it to shine. Yeah, shining back on him. So let's uh, get you spinning here. Oh, hey, I did a thing. Uh, what? <laughs> okay, just break on in there. Now I jump scare. No, I can't, I don't know what that is. Key. And a note. The de book box is emptied. Evil has been unleashed. Voices scratches the torment. It's unbearable. I saw it. The darkness, the demon. I think it's in the sewers. Because of course it is. Uh, but it will uh, come back. Whatever you do, leave it. Run. If you have found this paper, it means that I am dead. Run before it's too late. All right. Well, we got one heck of a jump scare coming now. After a note like that, you better know we're going to get some spooky stuff. Uh, are there any doors that we have yet to enter that are not, uh, locked or, you know, locked? <gasps> Did you find anything? Okay. 
Look at this threatening man. Unfortunately, I haven't found anything. It seems that James was worried about something living in the city sewers. Why is someone suffocating? I found out what I was looking for. Um, sure, we'll go with this option. <laughs> it seems that James was worried about something living in the city sewers. Really? Well, perhaps we could check it out. But I doubt we'll find anything down there. Thanks, but I work alone. Suit yourself. I hope you find the bastard who did this to James. He was a good man. He deserved better. Good luck, Mr. Williams. Wait, but I thought he, like, killed his wife and son. That doesn't sound like a, a great guy. <laughs> How many other locked doors are there, though? Is it this? Hey, it's this. Yeah, no, the, the atmosphere and the, the build-ups to the jump scares are pretty good, I will say. It, it might be a little heavy on the jump scares. It seems like they happen pretty often, but it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I, I like the pacing pretty well. Why am I moving so... Oh, I feel so dizzy. Oh, I do indeed. Strange book. <laughs> it almost looks like one of those ghost-summoning ones. That was rather ominous. Alright, so I, I've got a little bit of a swing in my step as though I were shmammered on the alcohols. So I don't really know what I'm supposed to do now. Besides probably get jump scared again. One last time before the end. Yep. <laughs> you should let me go, Samuel. If it weren't for you. He's dancing. Happening here. Yeah. We got some, uh. Oh. The rolling wheelchair. Uh, this because place of course. looks like that hospital where Jane was. Jane? Only darker oh, no. and creepier. Yes, much darker and creepier. Doesn't I look very sanitary a for a hospital. Oof. somewhere else somewhere much louder is this like a trailer Ooh, that's cool that looks neat I like the mix of the outdoor stuff there and there we have it the Alan Sharp demo. That was quite something. Uh, I like it. I like it. It's good. It definitely delivers on the horror side of things. Definitely, it got me a few times. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Oh, hey, that's cool. There's a little dude outside the window. That's neat. But yeah, that was that was good. Uh, suggestions. Um, you know, the storytelling is good. The graphics are fantastic. Um, graphically, I think the only suggestion I would really make is either probably the easiest thing to do would be to make uh, the flashlight brighter um, since basically the, the only reason to have a dark game the only reason that you would ever want to have a dark horror game that's like visually dark is if that's the only way that you're expressing fear to your players and that's the it's probably the worst way to do it in a horror game that's the worst approach to make if that's like the only way that you're trying to scare your player. So, and clearly, and kind of what I was getting at with that is that, um, you know, none of your jump scares really rely on the darkness. So none of your uh, jump scares rely on darkness. So you could absolutely just make a brighter flashlight. <laughs> that way people can just see a little better and get around easier. Other than that, the puzzles were, the puzzles were good. Um, Except that, 
I couldn't solve like any of them. I really liked the puzzle with the the light in the um, in the little museum room. That was really neat. I really liked the jump scare where the dude came out of the painting. By the way, that was that was a good one. That one got me. Yeah, the story's good. Notes are good. I think the key hiding was one thing that that kind of got me, because um, it was kind of hard <laughs> to to find those. At least for me, uh, maybe I wasn't. I mean, clearly I wasn't looking in the right places, but that's one thing to, to maybe consider. But overall, really good. Also, the sound design was on point. The voice acting was good. The cutscenes were good. The animation is awesome. Really good work. Also, this is this is made by two people, I believe. It's two people uh, working on this. Um, yeah, no, I, I see this game uh, probably performing pretty well on Steam. I can see it selling quite nicely, so... Um, hopefully it does, and best of luck to you. Uh, fantastic work on this. Uh, keep it up, and also you have an amazing main menu. All right, next game. Okay, uh, and now we have a game called Error, and uh, it wants to know if I are you human. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Booting game. Initialize player properties. Okay. Hey, hey. Uh, load game settings. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's make a new game here. Looking psychedelic. Ooh, hey, music. Oh, okay, we got music. Hopefully this isn't copyrighted. Oh well. If it is, honestly, I, I, I guess I maybe don't care. All right. So I guess I probably need to get through. Oh, I probably need to uh, push the box here into that thing. To open up this door. Press right mouse button to grab a box and put it in the power switch. Well, fantastic. That's good to know. Oh, okay, that is very difficult to read. Hello, I am Bob, and I am in trouble. This game falls apart, and I need uh, you help since I can't leave this level. I attached a debug <laughs> code on your butt. All you need to do if you uh, choose to help me is to complete every level. Oh, and also, you only have two hours. Is this a two-hour game? All right, so uh, big thing I'd recommend there is putting like a drop shadow or just a black box behind the subtitles so that they're easier to read. I feel like I'm on LSD. Not not that I know what that feels like, but uh, yeah. Use double jump to get to the next platform. Timing is, yeah, look at this, look at, like you can, you can't see into the, that's super cool. All right, boop, boop, boop. All right, platforms with arrows have a invisible force field. The arrow indicates the direction, okay. All right, so like, is that probably not where I want to go then? <laughs> Find a way to the other side, okay. All right, so it's like a maze. Right, I feel like that's the wrong way. But I also don't know how the heck there would, where the right way would be. Can I get up on top? I bet I can get up on top, I'm gonna do that. Hey, check it out. I don't know if that's how I was supposed to do it or not, but that is how I did it. Now comes the hard part, so listen closely. Uh, perform a wall run. Jump towards this wall while holding the W key and the A key. If you want to wall run on the right side, press W plus D. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Hey, that's a wall run. Check it out. All right, I'm gonna try something different this time. I'm gonna try and just jump up and like wall run across there and then maybe jump across to there because I cannot figure out how to do this part. So I'm gonna see if I can, if I can cheat here. Yeah, so I just run across here. You might be able to just hop up here. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Let me see what, Oh, oh, it did a thing. <laughs> City.exe, this looks cool. Well, I kind of just cheated. <laughs> okay. This is neat. Got some cool cell shading stuff going on. This is very different from the previous level. What is this man doing? R. I can't stop help. Uh, how can how can I help? Oh, uh, yeah, good luck. Have, have fun. I don't know if maybe it's bugged and the coins are like supp 
supposed to spawn, but they just don't spawn all the time. Okay, maybe I need to talk, maybe the coins don't spawn until I talk to, to this guy, since he tells me about the coins, that, you know, that kind of makes sense. And there's no coin here. Okay, see, here's, now there's a coin here. That wasn't always there. Um, wait, and there's one here now. Does each coin only appear after collecting the one before? Maybe it's like that, and I just, I, I don't know. Right, well, now there's one over there. Oh, so there's on this side, right? Yeah. Oh, and there's there's another one too. I I guess maybe the coins only spawn after you talk to that one guy. It seems like they spawn in random locations too. Oh, that, and there's there's the last one. Okay. Um. So now what? Maybe now I can go to the exit. Yay! I did it. Can you shoot white boxes? Uh, you're darn right I can. Why though? <laughs> Press E to use me. Okay. Pressing E. And pressing E a lot. <laughs> Press an E and nothing is happening here. Seems like a problem. I don't know, maybe there's some way that I can uh, get past it. Some way that I'm not supposed to. Like, oop, I kinda like that. <laughs> Press C for fast fall. Oh, interesting. Okay, like, uh, oh, okay, so like, meow. okay, all right, I managed to get past it. This is cool. Nice tunes. Good for trick walls, but I see nothing. Oh, wait, no, there's something here, yes, aha. I'm so smart. What do we got here? We got a note cue. Now everything is coming together. I am gonna be free. All I needed was a free game. Okay, so there's a box over there. I can't get through here, so I guess I need to... Wherever that was. <laughs> there it is. Oh, no! I accidentally shot it. Okay, I have a feeling I'm gonna need to restart that. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna save and restart. All right, hopefully I can, oh wait, is it not? Oh, it doesn't let me all the way through. It doesn't let me back through. Even if I've saved, even if I've saved, it doesn't let me back in. All right, I think I'm gonna call it here on this one, just cause I've replayed this stuff like, uh, like to three times already <laughs> so i'm gonna call it here i've been recording this one for over an hour um but it's pretty cool it's pretty cool um i definitely did have fun with it i like the concept behind it where it's like you're in a a game error thing and uh you need to like do all the parkour stuff i i think it's really cool um the parkour mechanics are pretty good the level design also is is pretty good um it's pretty easy to um to cheat <laughs> and skip past areas which is great if you know you want people to like speed run this game you know it's it, it's cool for people to people who want to be able to like try to find an optimal route and stuff so that could be kind of neat um i ended up using that to my advantage uh multiple times you know just being able to just basically just wall just basically being able to just climb up <laughs> anything um is is kind of op but you know so maybe you'd consider 
putting some blocking volumes or making it so that you can only wall run on on certain surfaces maybe that'd be good but other than that it's pretty cool i i actually really like it and i enjoyed playing it um maybe do like a an automatic save system or something you know that way people aren't having to replay stuff a lot um or even making it so that you can just reload the level you're in um that way like like if you could just go escape restart level and then it just restarts whatever level you're currently in you know that way if I accidentally, you know, like knock the main block off, um, then I can get back to it. Or if I manage to like jump out into some random area that, you know, just gets me stuck, then I can restart it from there too. So that'd be um, some useful stuff, but I like the environments. I like the story. I like kind of the, the quirky, quirky aesthetics. I can't talk. <laughs> um, and overall, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's really pretty cool. So uh, let's hop into the next game. So this is a game called Paddles, which is sort of like a guitar hero type of thing. Got some like music-y stuff. So let's uh, hop into one of these. I'm going to assume that these are copyright free. Hopefully they are. Okay, so we hit all of these different keys to... Cool, but I'm hoping that there's a yeah, an easier starter level. Also, um, I don't know if maybe my headphones are out of sync with the audio that's going on here, but uh, it seems like it's a little bit offbeat. Um, like it might not be synchronized right. All right, hit pause at the right time. Miss too many, and you'll lose your streak. <laughs> Okay, uh, so I did a thing. That was cool. That one was a little bit easier. Um, let's let's try another one here. that song but uh, it was not not particularly easy let's, let's try this again let's try this one it was really cool though alrighty so <laughs> I, I uh, I've been playing this for a while uh, I'll probably have shown some clips of it obviously I can't commentate while I'm trying to <laughs> do something intensive like this and overall this is an awesome concept you know it's kind of uh, a guitar hero-esque type thing and I really like it. Like, this is, like, honestly, this is something that I would, like, actually play for a long time. Um, you know, you've got some cool songs in here. Um, the kind of the the game feel is pretty good. You know, like, as you get 
longer streaks, you know, your, your counter goes up and all this stuff, and it's really, really cool. Um, I also wish there was a pause menu, so I didn't have to quit every time I wanted to switch maps, but whatever. Um, but um, it's, it's really cool stuff. I really do like it. But I think there are, I've got a bunch of stuff that I think could make this um, really, really neat. Extra neat. <laughs> it's already really neat. But some stuff that I would like to see if I was going to, uh, you know, play this for more than, you know, five or ten minutes. So, um, main thing is, well, a couple main things. First thing that I want to mention is that these, you got the paddles here, um, and... these maybe move uh, a bit too fast. Um, I think if they could all move a little bit slower, that way um, you can see them coming a little bit earlier and you can better uh, gauge what you're gonna need to do as, uh, as stuff happens. So I think that would be really, really, really useful. Um, the next thing is, now I, I don't know what what the background is of the person who who made this i would assume you're into music in in some way um and maybe uh my my music uh background is just throwing me off or something but uh so i'm i play drums um that's that's a thing i do and one thing that's very common when uh you know when keeping a beat is that you associate certain motions to a specific part of the beat. So like, let's say um, the lower paddle is bass hits, right? So whenever um, you're playing the song and it's a bass hit, um, maybe you hit S, right, for the bottom paddle. And maybe when it's like a like a snare type hit, you do that for the top one for W, um, and then for the left and right ones, those can just be like general beat keeping, kind of more like a hi hat. Um, that way you have a pattern to it, and that that way um, I think it would also help structure um, each song because then you can use the basically use the beat that already exists on the song rather than um, coming up with a custom pattern. Because if you use, basically if you have the controls based on um, the existing beat, it'll allow people to form patterns kind of in their head as they go, you know, rather than having, you know, whatever pattern for, you know, maybe 20 seconds of the song and then it switches to a brand new pattern people will be able to actually get used to it and they'll be able to really feel it you know and that'll also just automatically help with um kind of like the game feel as well because if you're you know every time you hit s it's a bass hit and you're like mm. boom and then every time you hit um up top here it's a snare you know one thing that would even be really really cool that i just thought of this isn't really necessary at all but if you actually made it so that when you press these buttons it actually does you know when you press s for the bottom panel it's it actually plays a little bass hit sound on top of the music that's playing that would really help um with the response you know player response player feedback and i think it would also make it easier to adjust and it just it makes it feel more like you're like like you're playing an instrument almost uh, rather than simply doing more like a like a reaction timing kind of puzzle. So I really like it, um, but that's kind of the direction that I would take it personally. And uh, I, I, I would love to see you um, expand on this more. I think it's super cool. Uh, I think there's a lack of music-based games. So that is what I've got to say. Uh, really cool, really good job. Let's hop into the next game. Also, um, real quick, just another thought that I just had about that game as I was uh, booting up the next one. Um, maybe, rather than using w, uh, W, A, S, and D, you could use something like A, W, D, 
and the space bar for the for the base hit if you were to do a system like that because that way uh that's going to help your brain out um because then you're associating each different kind of percussional hit um with a different finger so rather than having um you know snare and bass you know, being used by your, your middle finger, as would be typical when you're using a normal WASD um, format uh, of input. You know, usually you just use your middle finger to use both W and S. That would also help if you start doing like really, really fast beats or something. It, it'd help to have each um, input be uh, kind of bound to a different finger. That way you can react faster, so. That was just another thought that I had. All right, this is, all right. And here we have Marg, or maybe Marge, I'm not sure. Marg, The Untold Story. This is a game that was uh, on Android, and so I wasn't really able to play it, but then they just sent me this uh, Windows build, so I'm gonna check this one out, and yeah. So let's uh, let's hop into it. Beyond and even above, a humble orc named Marg lived. His family were great thinkers for generations, but he always showed an aptitude for art. So he left when he was a prospering young man. But one day, he was devastated by the news of his grandmother's grave illness. He felt the obligation to visit her immediately. Unfortunately, he was too late, as his goodbye was. His grandmother left him a mysterious map as his part of the heritage, with a simple note written on it. Don't forget to collect the lost pages. All right, and there we have it. That's a cool little intro sequence there. I really like that. Oh, use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move. Or WASD. All right, so we're looking for lost pages as an artistic orc. This looks gorgeous. The color palette is fantastic. I like the simplicity. Okay, bonus coins hidden around each level. Your goal is to collect the recipe pages on each level. Okay. Use the I button to toggle view angle. Oh, okay. Interesting. And we must reach the portal at the end. And for some reason, I can't jump here. I don't know if my game just broke or if I just can't in this part. So I guess we'll find out. Soundscape is very nice. All the sound is nice, actually. Oh, hey, well, there's the page. Oh my gosh, I just realized there's this massive crab in the background here. That is one big crabby boy. Ho ho. Let's see what this is. I just unlocked double jump. Alright. I'm curious as to what the deal is with the giant crab. <laughs> That's a lot of gold. I will say I find it very, um, a little strange that in a lot of these levels, um, like in traditional platformers, usually, at least in all the platformers I've ever played, um, you always move from left to right. You know, the right side of the screen is typically where the goal is. And that's even something that, um, I, that's a principle that I use in my games as well. Like whenever I'm doing something like side scroller or for like my beautiful paper smile, since it's a fixed camera perspective, I always put the goal to the right or, f or forward. Those are the two directions I, I put stuff. I never put stuff to the left because it, it just, it's not what <laughs> most games do. So people just expect that they'll have to go to the right when uh, they actually don't. Yeah, see, like there's nothing over here, just death. So I, I definitely don't expect you to change something like that in this, because 
you know, that's a fundamental part of your level design. But for future projects, might be something to keep in mind. Oh my gosh. Okay. Harbor of Redden. All these different worlds are really cool. Like they each have their own color palette and a lot of them introduced, sorry, introduced new mechanics. I'm really liking this so far. This is very nice. It's like very, very well polished and very well put together. And now we're at a place called The End. So is there, is there a page here? Doesn't look like it. Looks like I just uh, hop into the portal. No, uh, apparently there is a page somewhere. Is it because I didn't get the one lost page? Or is it just bugging out? Like, do I just need to run on in here? No, clearly not. Um, it's because I don't have all the coins. I really don't know. Or, or maybe this is it. Maybe, it, I, I mean, oh wait, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's a button here to go to the ship. Okay, At I didn't notice end, that. Marg collected all the pages, bought a new journal, and wrote all the recipes into it, and even decorated them with illustrations of each food. Then he realized the idea of crafting something edible was fascinating. After this epiphany struck him, he took over the management of his grandmother's bakery, kept her legacy alive, and lived happily ever after. Well, that's sweet. That's really cool. All right, well, this was really, really good. This is very well polished. Um, you know, it was short and concise. It was, it was fun to play through. Um, yeah, overall, I really, really enjoyed it. You know, I don't have a whole lot to, um, to critique on it. Not a whole lot, a lot of feedback to give. Um, I think if you had the start of your level on the left side of the screen and the end on the right side. I feel like maybe that would make more sense. I don't know. Maybe maybe this is more typical um, in, you know, kind of in platformer games than I realized, but uh, that's just something that, uh, that I thought of. You know, the ending part with the ship um, wasn't quite as obvious um, to me since there was a portal. There was a portal on one side but there was also the ship. So I was confused with the portal, thinking that I had to find a way to get into it, but instead it was just the ship, so. But besides that, I don't think I have anything to say about this. This was really cool. This was really, really good. You know, I think it's good that it was short. You know, you're able to make something really pretty, really fun, um, and really concise. Um, that was, you know, that was short. You know, it didn't have to be like a five hour long experience. You know, it was able to just be a nice, short, concise little game. And I think that's really awesome. So keep it up. This was really good. Power of Three, which is another game that was actually made for the Epic Mega Jam, which is super, super neat. And uh, right off the bat, this is a really cool menu screen. Like, oh my gosh. And I've actually, I, I remember seeing this game on the jam pages, and this is one of the ones, oh, and also on Twitter, like during the jam, as that was going on. And this one looks really cool. You've got like these three, three different characters that all have like different powers and stuff, I think is the, the general idea. So let's hop into it. Ooh. Floaty boy. Boom. It's a cool island. Also really nice cutscenes. We got so many. Oh, John, <laughs> there's I can't another understand. Dude. Oh, sorry. I just thought they could be dangerous. So I've decided to be invisible for some time. Yeah. So let's go and find the treasure. Okay, so there we go. So we got uh, this dude's able to be invisible. Um Dang, we got some pretty advanced uh, animation blueprint stuff going on here. All right, we oh, can use gamepad or mouse. What do we want to find on the island? There is a chance that here could be some dragon's blood. It can cure our master Jojo. It would be great. Looks like we have a problem. 
I don't see a welcome mat. Only the closed gate. I suppose John can handle that problem by teleporting to the other side. All right, so to activate power, use Q, uh, Q or Y. So, um, so what, what is my power? I'm trying to figure out what my power is. It looks like I can float. Can I switch to other characters? Let's see if I can find... Um, hmm, there's no controls menu. Do I, like, run and then... Oh, oh, okay. Well, I can jump really high, apparently. Um, oh, so maybe... So I think maybe... Maybe I just need to, like, jump, hit Q, and yes. Okay, so I need to... Okay, so I can... So that's my power. I can jump really high. That it confused me a bit because one of the guys said uh, he could teleport to the other side. Like, John can uh, teleport to the other side. But it's actually... Uh, you actually jump and it's <laughs> kind of a hard jump to make like you, you need to time this perfectly there we go okay i am here can you open the door from there yep there is a lever on the wall here is there ah indeed e nice Come on, homies. Let's go. Now it's your turn, Paul. I see the lever at the top of the high wall and your power can help us. Okay. Piece of cake. I should just run, jump and use my power. Okay. So that's basically what we just did, right? There are elementals here. It means that there is their magic crystal nearby. We should break it to kill them. I think Nick can do it with his invisibility power without any problems. Okay. Yeah, I'll do. So So are we able to switch to the other characters? Cuz Nick just said, "Yeah, I'll 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 do that." <laughs> but uh he's clearly not doing that right now. So Elementals will kill me. I think it is better to be done by Nick. Maybe, but I don't know how to get Nick to do that. That's that's cool, the, the slow-mo effect. I like that. They don't even know I'm here. These idiots. Wah ha ha. Alright, what does it say? Okay, I did I did a thing. Alright, cool. I killed them. Uh so are those guys coming or what? <laughs> this does look really cool though. This is pretty neat looking. Alright, maybe if I wait a little longer I to, gravity, if I go jump, jump Q, alright, looks like that's the technique. These columns looks like some mechanism. I should just find the levers to activate it. Elementals. There are too many elementals there. It is better to wait till Nick kill them first. Is he actually gonna get, get around to that though? Doubt it. Oh, I could jump up there and then wait for my thing to refuel. Game over. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna destroy that. Suckers. Yeah, suck on that. I'm playing all of these games in the, exactly how they're not meant to be played. Alright, I have a feeling I can't get past this. Game over. Yep. <laughs> Maybe I can go over it. I'll try that. Heck yes. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I feel like I'm supposed to be one of the other characters by now. Or be able to switch between them. I, I just don't know, though. I, I definitely know I'm not supposed to be down here. <laughs> but now I just need to go, get over there. To the other side of the... um the fire i apologize for completely um destroying these playthroughs <laughs> and not not playing these games the way they're meant to be played but i just i don't know how to do it the normal way i literally i i'm i'm sorry <laughs> i mean it seems really cool you know i mean you got a lot of cool ideas you know stuff going on here and what i have been able to to get through has been really neat but i just i don't know how to get 
the other characters to do anything. I'm, I'm, I'm clearly missing something. I just don't know what. All right, well, we've made it. <laughs> we've made it past there, except that I can't. Oh, wait, no, I can. Oh, that's, that's really cool. Okay, cool. I'm guessing there will be some more elementals over here. Where is... Oh, there's the crystal thing. Well, that was a waste. <laughs> I messed that one up. And spam these. Nice. That's a it's really cool when you kill them. I do like that uh I like that mechanic. I might need to steal that sometime. <laughs> you know, where you just have to avoid the enemies and just get to a certain place and then and then they go away. It's cool. Oh, what the what the what? Oh no, there's three of these. But I've only got me. How am I gonna... No, I'll just try going around the side. Man, this is crazy. You got like cloth sims on the shirt here. There we go. The music is pretty cool too. I get some... Very fitting music. A and we're through. Woohoo! Looks like we found the treasure. Just money in the room full of junk. I thought we'd found some super duper magic things here. I am disappointed. Unfortunately, we did not found well, there the we have it. blood to cure our master Jojo. So don't relax. I know it's been a long time, but we are not done yet. Uh, we must find the the cure for 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 Jojo. Thanks for playing. We finished it. Very cool. I I'm kind of sad that because I feel like there must have been a way to like control the other characters, but I feel like I don't know if it wasn't explained or if I missed it. I really don't know what what happened with that. I don't. Oh 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 oh! I found it. Okay, with tab. So if I hit tab, if I hit tab, then can you open the door from there? You can switch yep. characters. There is a that's good to know. All right, that uh, that's cool. All right, so yeah, so a key prompt on that would have been good, um, but now that makes a lot more sense, and I I can see now where, uh, you know, where where this is going. Yeah, see, that that makes a lot more sense. Um, <laughs> although, you know, I was able to beat it with just the one character. Once again, one week of 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 uh, of development time, so. You can't really blame them much. Alrighty, well there we have it. Um, Power of Three, a very very cool game. Um, yeah, I mean overall, like I I really like the mechanics. I like the world. Um, I think the the only thing really to be improved on is maybe just some some general polish. You know, like adding blocking volume so people can't you know uh, just kind of cheat their way through the whole game. Um, that'd be good and you know just like a key prompt uh, just some kind of a mini tutorial that shows people how to switch characters because I had no idea that you had to hit tab to switch characters um, you know so just some just just a simple little pop-up that's like press tab to switch characters you know would have been uh, super super helpful but um, no other than that stuff this was this was actually really solid and it was very fun um, it probably would have been even more fun if <laughs> I knew how to actually play it, but it was still fun nonetheless. You know, going through, seeing all the, I mean, I, I was able to get the, you know, the general gist of, of everything. It was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, really good work. And um, let's hop into the next game. I think it might be the last game at this point, but yeah, we're on the last game. So uh, let's hop into it. Chris games. All right, so this is called Bottle Shooter. So I'm guessing this is maybe kind of like a like an aim trainer, but let's let's find out. Let's go to the forest first. All right, let's take the AK, or I guess we just have the pistol right now. 
Oh, the sensitivity seems very high. Right, I'm gonna see if I can adjust my sensitivity. I cannot. Okay, so I'm going to adjust that manually. Oh man, it just brings the sensitivity way back up again. Eh, sensitivity is so high. Like I'm moving my mouse like a centimeter to get to each one of these bottles. I like the effects though. Okay, I did the thing. How was the game? It was pretty good, but the sensitivity is so high. Even after, for some reason, even after turning down my my actual cursor speed manually and it moves like super super slow for some reason in this game it just jacks it up to 10 right away and we're just shooting up the city here is there a penalty for hitting cars <laughs> well they do get in the way a lot so that's a thing Yeah, the car cars are a little annoying. I, I'll bet the, the people driving them aren't too happy that I'm just on the side of the road, just just shooting shooting bottles across the across the street. Oh, and there we have it. Alrighty. All right, let's hop back to the main menu and we'll try out the last level. Just realize there's a whole bunch on the sides here. <laughs> Seems like once the bottles have uh, fallen over onto their sides, the collision box is still like the same height as the other bottles, which I think is interesting. Um, Seems like you have to aim high to get those ones, so if you're still working on this game, that might be something to look into. It's not a huge, huge deal, but it's just something that I'm noticing. Alrighty, well, that was pretty fun. I enjoyed that. That was that was really nice. It was like it's like a nice another one of these small games, you know? This is the kind of stuff that you should be making, you know? That everybody should be making, every single game developer. You know, don't be trying to remake Halo. Don't be trying to remake Call of Duty. Make a bottle shooter, you know? Make fun, small, little things. You know, for something like this, main thing, obviously, that I've mentioned um, is just the mouse sensitivity. Um, it'd be really, really good to have a, a slider for that. You know, an option where people could set the sensitivity themselves. Um, second thing, I have a feeling that this is copyrighted music, but the other, there's other games that have copyrighted stuff in them too at this point, so I, I don't even care. I mean, honestly, I'd probably only make like 20 cents on this video anyways, so I, I'm okay with losing that amount of money. Yeah, maybe don't use Coca-Cola logo. Once again, tiny free game, um, so Coca-Cola probably isn't going to come and sue you, but you know, just something... Yeah, overall really good. Um, you know, it's nice and simple and effective. You know, you got the shop. I really like the shop system. You know, you got a bunch of different options, all at different various affordable prices. So that's really nice. You know, you don't need to play. You don't need to grind for like five hours to get your first weapon. So I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, overall I liked it. It was a nice, a nice game to end the video with. So. I think I'll I'll turn on my my face cam now and and say some final closing words. All right, so that's that's that. Uh, this video I'm I've edited like most of it, and then I just finished playing the last few games that got submitted um, in the last few days of you know that the whole video submission thing was open. So 
thank you so much to everyone who submitted. Um, it really does mean a lot that you trusted me to <laughs> give you feedback. Um, I really, really hope that I wasn't like too hard on anybody's games. Um, you know, the, the goal is I really want to help you guys. I want to, you know, help people make awesome, better games. You know, it's, it's feedback is one of those things that like for me personally, like getting feedback, like back when I was like first starting out, I, I probably wouldn't have been too happy about it in the beginning. Um, but over time, you know, I've, I've gotten feedback from, from players, sometimes, uh, not the best feedback, you know, I've gotten feedback from, you know, friends and stuff. And it, I do, I do, I get that it's, it can be tough to hear, you know, the stuff that's wrong with your game. And I, I do understand that. So overall, I mean, all the games that, uh, that I played for this were fantastic. I enjoyed all of them. They were a lot of fun to play. And, you know, none of us are making perfect games. I'm not making perfect games. N none of the games were perfect, obviously. Because no game is perfect. That's just impossible. But um, I'm just really hoping that um, you guys can take the feedback and, you know, do with it what you will. Take it or leave it. You know, you can ignore it if you like. But um, it's there for you. So if you didn't get your game submitted and you wanted to be a part of it, um, I might be doing more stuff kind of like this in the future. Although I'm definitely not going to be doing more of these, like, three and a half hour long videos um, if I do this again I am going to I'll probably just like announce them on Twitter or something um, so that less people submit games and then I'll also probably do them live streamed probably over on Twitch so that's something to sorry I just bumped the mic so that's something to keep in mind um, so hey there, this is a great opportunity for me to plug my Twitter. Go follow me on Twitter at Two Star Games, and uh, I might be announcing this stuff there at some point later on. I probably won't do specific videos for that anymore because that got me way too many submissions. So, anyways, that is about it. Um, now that this video is out, hopefully I can get back to a more consistent upload schedule. I do have a bunch of videos that I wanted to make. Um, I've got a couple of videos that I want to make about my game Cloud Climber that I did for the Epic Mega Jam. Um, I've got a video I, I want to talk about uh, some of my YouTube stats, revenue, um, all that. I thought maybe that would be kind of interesting. And then I got some other stuff planned too for the near future. So yeah, that's about it. Um, thank you for watching. I if you watched the entire video, that's insane. Thank you. I can't believe it. Anyways, uh, that's about it, and I will see you guys in the next one.